Before the video starts, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to never miss any of my uploads. Enjoy the video! Super exciting news! Your favorite half monster, half human from Origins of Olympus now has merch. We have stickers, t-shirts, and hoodies available. I made these as cheap as I possibly could for all of you that wanted to pick it up. Also, make sure to use code SORIN for free shipping. Now, on to the video. They say his torso was that of a man, but underneath were coils of vipers that would hiss and attack anything that defied him. His eyes glowed like the sun and would terrify anyone who gazed upon them. His body sprouted hundreds of different wings, and his hands were made up of the creatures he slaughtered. His wingspan stretched east and west for thousands of miles and some of his heads were sometimes actually that of a dragon. He had filthy tusks and pointed ears, and there was fire in his eyes, a giant so tall that his head touched the stars. He was the source of devastating storms in the Earth realm. He was said to have more power than a hundred volcanoes. They say that Typhon was a monstrous beast who laid siege to heaven, but was defeated by Zeus and imprisoned deep in the pits of Tartarus. They were correct. Making his home in the underworld, he vowed to rule it with an iron fist, the father of chaos, the father of destruction, the father of monsters, my father. Let me take you back to where it all started for me. This is the creation pit. A hole that drills deep into the core of Tartarus. It was formed by my father who sought out to create an army of monsters to help him rule the underworld. He promised each and every creature he created a place in his family. But all they ever received was an unpleasant glance followed by a prison cell. My father didn't care for any of the weak children he created. He only wanted the toughest of the tough. That being said, you should have seen the look on his face the day I was born. Half monster, half human. I was his biggest disappointment by far. How could I ever compete with my brothers and sisters who were much more powerful? I spent years locked in that prison cell. But luckily, I had something special that no one else had the power to think and adapt to protect myself. Over the years, I grew to be a more powerful version of myself, more of a monster. I grew horns, my skin became tougher and more reptilian. I could even see in the dark. And one day, something unimaginable happened.
I was able to sprout wings at my own will. I knew what I was capable of, so I took my chance and I flew with it. I was the first of my father's creations to ever escape the creation pit. Father, I've done it. I've done the impossible. I've escaped the creation pit. What is this? Who are you? Wh what do you mean, who am I? I'm your son. Another one of your children you abandoned in that hellhole. You told me yourself when I was born that I'm your biggest disappointment. Soren? Is that you? How? Since that day, I haven't stopped trying to crawl my way out of there. You look... different? I've evolved. Changed. I'm a lot stronger now than the last time you saw me 12 years ago. Has it been that long? Ha! Don't look at me like that. I'm not another one of your disappointments. Not anymore. I'm strong. You think you're tough, huh? I will admit that it's impressive that you made it out of the pit. But that doesn't qualify you to make demands at me, boy! Please, just let me prove myself to you. I've lived my entire life wanting to live up to your expectations. You have to let me try. I do have a special mission that someone with your appearance would benefit greatly. I can do it. What do you mean by my appearance? This mission will require you to travel to the Earth Realm. There is someone I am seeking. Earth Realm? The creatures in Earth Realm have a much different appearance than us down in Tartarus. More human. Of course. That's why I would be so perfect for this mission. You can count on me, Father. I promise. Fail me, and you will wish you could spend the rest of your useless life in the pit. I... I won't fail you. So... Who exactly am I looking for? <laughs> I 
promise, Father. I won't let you down. Wow. Earthrealm. This is huge. This is somewhere that I've always wanted to go. I mean, I'm terrified. I spent my entire life trapped in a cage down here in Tartarus. I haven't even been to the underworld, let alone Earthrealm. Okay, you got this. Come on, Soren. Keep it together. What did he say to find? He said there was a weapon that you needed to find. Um, the Abyssal? <sighs> Pretty sure the weapon's forge is this way. Come on. Yes. This has to be it. That means the weapon is up in here. Up there. That has to be it. The Abyssal. There it is. The most powerful weapon in all of Tartarus. I can't believe my father trusts me with it. I guess it's time to start my journey, my mission, to find them. But I'm terrified. Father said that there would be monsters waiting for me in the underworld. Monsters that don't like us creatures down in Tartarus. And they'd much rather prefer us to stay down here. But I should be safe. I know I can protect myself. I was the only one of my father's creations to ever make it out of the pit. That definitely speaks for itself. But I'm so scared. I've never been to the overworld or the underworld. What if everyone hates me? What if they all look at me like I'm a monster? I mean... I know I'm half human, but still. <sighs> well, come on, Soren. You gotta do this. You told your father you weren't gonna let him down, so you can't. Three, two, one, go. I'm here. The underworld. It actually looks really similar to Tartarus. I don't know why I was expecting this to look so different. I mean, it's very similar. I guess that's what happens when you grow up in a cage. Everything starts looking exactly the same. I was hoping to see something a little bit different, but all right. What's this? Some sort of arena? And these monsters. These aren't monsters at all. Did my father lie to me? These monsters are from Tartarus. These monsters are from the creation pit. Did we run out of space? Did he start to shove them through the portal? Maybe he's trying to create an army here? 
Maybe he was really just trying to get rid of them. Either way, these monsters aren't going to harm me. These are my family. Creations from my father. He must be more disappointed in them than he was even me. That's really saying something. Well, at least I don't have those to worry about. I mean, that was one of my biggest fears coming here was the monsters that my father said were going to try to try to attack me. Okay, so we're in focus. He said you needed to look for some sort of tree. The, the Tartarus tree. We need to find this. Whoa. This place is crazy. And what's this? Some sort of... temple? Wow. This is incredible. Okay. I don't even know where to start looking for this. There's another portal here, but I don't think this is the one that I'm looking for. No. Okay. Let's try going maybe in this direction and see if we can find this portal. He said that it should be pretty obvious. Um, I mean, I feel like a giant tree would be pretty obvious in this terrain. So, I shouldn't miss it. It must be getting close. I can feel the energy. It's the same energy that came from my home in Tartarus. Come on, shouldn't be that hard to find a giant tree. Oh, there, that has to be it, the Tartarus tree. Yes, I can feel the power radiating from it. It's the same energy that my father radiates. He had to have put this here. This is it. Okay, now, I just need to find the portal. I don't know where it is, but... Wow. This is incredible. It's huge. Maybe on top somewhere? Um, let's see. Oh. Okay. It has to be up here. It wasn't down there anywhere, so... <gasps> that! What's that? This has to be it. The portal! Portal to Earth Realm. Oh my goodness. This is it. I can't believe today's finally the day. I have the Abyssal. The portal. Come on, Soren. Don't be scared. All you have to do is walk through this portal, and you're there. You! Some sort of Earthrealm gatekeeper? I couldn't care less about the wretched Earthrealm. I inhabit this land to exterminate any Tartarus trash that comes near. I can smell your stench from a mile away. Well, if you want me gone that badly, just let me through the portal. My mission doesn't concern you. You will be eliminated.
Huh? Um. Hey, there are. Oh, are. Hello. Are. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Where, where am I? Um. <laughs> well, like, where did you come from? That was a nasty-looking portal. Uh, the last thing I remember is going through a portal. I was in the underworld. Oh, I... you're in the underworld. Am I... is this Earthrealm? Uh, yeah. Yeah, welcome. Welcome uh, to Earth. Wow. Everything's so... green and alive. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if you, uh, were in the underworld, you probably haven't seen this for quite some time. I've actually never been here. Wait, really? No, I grew up in the underworld, so, I mean, this is just, this is incredible. Everything's so green and not on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, my back. Um, uh, uh, is... Uh, it looks like you might have bruised a wing or something when you were falling. Uh, um, in that nasty fight with the demon when I was coming here and... Oh! Uh, took, took a toll on me. Yikes. Uh, um, well... I guess I could take you back to my infirmary. It's not too far from here if you want me to take a look at that wing and anything else. Oh, that would be great. Are you some kind of healer or Uh Yeah, I guess you could I guess you could say that. Um oh. My name is Kay, by the way. Oh, I'm Soren. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He was well, Soren. Uh, here, uh, let me help you up, and maybe we can uh, get you back. All right. Okay. All right. Come on. Wow, this view is incredible. <laughs> yeah, I I love the view of the cherry blossoms and the Asian pantheon from my office. The it's really nice. Asian pantheon? What, uh, yeah. What kind of place is this? Well, uh, you are currently in Camp Oasis. <laughs> camp it's a uh, Oasis. Yeah, it's kind of like a summer camp, but a summer camp for demigods and just, you know, well, people like us, I guess. <laughs> demigods? Yeah. Wow. I've never met any demigods. Oh, really? No. Um, who are you the son of? Or who are your parents? Um, I, I actually don't know my father. Um, oh. Or, I don't... Okay. I, I don't know. Oh, not sure. Right. Um, so I see that you like snakes. Um, how, how do you, how do you know that? Well, or how, how do you see that? You have a giant poster of some snakes in the other room, so I just oh. kind of assumed. <laughs> sorry if maybe. No, 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 no. You're you're absolutely fine. Um, yeah, the the painting. Um, it's actually the rod of Asclepius. Uh, he's the god of healing, and also 
my dad. So, uh, oh, wow. yeah, it's just like it's a common medical symbol. It really doesn't, you know. I mean, I mean, it means something because he's my dad and all. But <laughs> snakes, <laughs> I, I, not a huge fan. Yeah. Um. Wow. That's yeah. cool. Is that why yeah. you're so into healing and everything? Just learning um, from your dad? I guess so. I It was always something that I had to do, you know. I'm actually the camp counselor here, at least for oh. the Greek pantheon. Um, wow. And I kind of always took, you know, the role of camp nurse. But I don't know. I've been reading a lot about my dad recently, and it was what he did. So I kind of just want to follow in his footsteps, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, thanks. Uh, it's meant a lot to me. But um, like you, I actually don't know him. I know he's my dad, but I've never met him, unfortunately. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. No, it's it's okay. <laughs> um, one day. But uh, anyways, um, you said you're from the underworld and you just came here. This is your first time on Earth? Yes, it is. Well, you took quite a bit of a nasty fall, and uh, I don't know if you have a place to stay or why you're here, really, but we have a lot of vacant cabins, and I, I don't know if you'd want to stay here, <laughs> if you'd need a place to hang out and rest, at least till you're better. I haven't even thought about that. Um, that would be great if you guys would have me. Of course, yeah. Um, we have plenty of vacant cabins. There's a, a whole Greek area. Just make sure not to go into the other pantheons, I guess, because I don't want any drama with them. <laughs> yeah, but, for uh, sure. There's some new campers, I think, coming this afternoon. I plan on giving them a little bit of a tour, so maybe I could show you around, if you're feeling up to it. I mean, you did, like I said, take a nasty fall, but... Your wings all bandaged up, and you should be looking better here sh soon. Absolutely. That would be incredible if you could show me around. Of course. I'd love to meet everyone. <laughs> I haven't really had any experiences with many people or any demigods, <laughs> so it should be yeah. should be interesting. Yeah, I, I really look forward to it. I, I'm hoping this year we can all be really close and like one big family. So One big family. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll leave you to uh, get some rest here. Um, I guess I'll come back for you before we uh, go on the tour, and you and I can head over together. How about that? Sounds great. Thank you right. so much again for helping me heal up my wing. Uh, of course, Soren. It's, uh, it's what I do. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll see you later. I'll see you shortly. Okay, Soren, try to contain yourself. I know you're in a brand new world and everything looks so cool, but you have to try to blend in. Oh, I can't help it! What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Soren, this isn't fair! What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something very wrong. What's this? People getting along. What's this? The trees are lined with furry creatures napping. Everybody seems so happy. Have I possibly gone daffy? What is this? What's this? These people look so normal. They only have one head. They're busy with each other and absolutely no one's dead. There's flowers on every window. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. And in my bones, I feel the warmth that's coming from inside. Oh look, what's this? I've never seen before. They hiss, why that looks so unique. Inspired, oh no, they aren't at all immune to fire. Please, this wasn't my desire. What's this? What's this in here? Never felt before, how weird. I need to stop and think, and why? I'm covered in these tiny bumpy things. Something's pulling my heartstrings. There's a smile on everyone, so now correct me if I'm wrong. This looks like fun, this seems like fun. What if I just ran away? What's this? 
Soren, what are you doing? You can't just abandon the mission. Father will kill you, but there's just something about this place that... <gasps> oh my, what now? They're jumping in the air, but look! Not one is in despair, no screams or vicious teeth to rip their prey to pieces, only cozy little things secure inside this ocean. <sighs> What's this? The monsters are all missing and the nightmares can't be found, and in their place there seems to be good feeling all around. Instead of screams, I swear I can hear peace inside the air. The smell of green in nature is absolutely everywhere. I don't know what to do. I've never felt this... free. It doesn't matter. You can't blow your cover, Soren. You can't let people know who you are. They'll treat you like something different. like a monster. Huh? Oh. I think Kay might be starting the tour of the camp. I should get going. Hello everyone, and welcome to Camp Oasis. My name is Kay, I am your camp counselor, and I guess, uh... For starters, we can go ahead and all introduce ourselves. Uh, Mario, let's start with you. Oh, uh, <laughs> a lot of new faces here. Um, <laughs> Indeed. Hi, I'm Mario. I'm uh, the son of Zeus. <laughs> um, yep. Although I don't look like it, apparently, from people tell me. Eh, hmm. You know. All right, continuing on. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. Nice to meet you all. Uh, the name's Lee. Lee Marie is my full name, but just call me Lee is fine. Uh, nice. Obviously, I'm a, uh, a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, my parent is uh, Demeter. Nice. <gasps> Pleasure meeting you, Lee. Uh, you too. All right. Next. Well, I didn't expect to meet more family here, but... Um... Lee, I am the, I am the son of Persephone. I'm an so, aunt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I am the prince of the underworld. Uh, oh, sorry, one of, <clears throat> as you may know, my uh, half brother Silo. Yeah, Wait, nice what? to meet you all. Hi everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Soren. I actually don't know who my parents are, but I'm hoping that maybe at some point I can figure it out yeah. uh, this camp it's a great place to find that out trust me <laughs> yeah well, yeah we all did at one point mm -hmm. okay and oh you um i'm cassie the uh goddess of eros the god of love and all things beauty oh i'm i'm cassie i don't know if i said that already right so a descendant of Eros. Right, goddess. Goddess. Okay. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Zylo, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, um, oh. Well. Miss K, you forgot about me. I'm Zylo, oh. son of Hades. <laughs> I was at this camp last year. And I've been spending <clears throat> the last year in the underworld. After being stabbed and sent there. That's well, it's a pleasure to have you back. Thanks. Yeah. You might as well let people know who he is. <sighs> yes. Let everyone know what you've done. As no, much as we like to him to introduce himself. Unnecessary, um, Mario, but... Wait, am I sparking again? Yes. Yeah, it's very well, sparkly. Uh, hey, everybody, I'm the son of Aphrodite, and... um, um Who's that guy back there? That's all you need to know for now. Hey! Oh. He looks familiar. Uh, See? excuse me? Excuse ah, me? Ah, ah, no. uh, uh, sorry, uh, didn't mean to startle you. Um, I'm are you... sorry. 
Are you part of the Greek pantheon? Uh, wait, What's your name? Like it. This is the Greek pantheon? Uh, yes. Which yeah. one were you looking for? Uh, Are you well, Egyptian? Are you Polynesian? No. Polynesian? Uh, sorry, let me introduce myself. The name is Nedard. Oh, you may call me Ned. I'm the son of Vidar. Vidar? Oh. Vidar. Um, I'm Isn't... not sure. Isn't that a Nordic? It is. Wait. Yes, he's a Nordic Wait. god. Wait, the Nordics also exist? How? Does oh, every... Oh. Does every one of them exist? Uh, I'm sorry, we don't have a Nordic pantheon. Um, oh. Um, I suppose you could bunk with us if you don't mind being with the Greeks. I guess I... Wait. This isn't the camp full of the Nordics? Uh, no. No. no we, that sucks, I, dude. I don't think we I, have that here. I think you might have made a left when you should have taken a right. That's <laughs> right. Maybe uh, the other Nordics just haven't showed up yet. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I yeah. don't think they were supposed to hey! come, but everyone, everyone is welcome. Uh, uh, so, Nad, you are welcome to stay and compete with us. I'm, I'm sorry to be an inconvenience. Didn't mean for that. No, 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 no inconvenience at all. Uh, this camp is open to everyone. So, with that being said, um, like you guys might have gathered, uh, we do have some previous returning campers. Uh, Mario and Silo and of course myself. Um and so I me, would... me, I <sighs> Yes, and you. We we stabs people. Ooh. Sorry for <laughs> my anger to uh the son of Aphrodite, everyone. Um we just have a little bit of a past and I didn't expect him to uh show up today, if I'm honest. Hmm. Um but that's fine. Um Hopefully everyone uh, maintains their composure, and uh, yeah. I would like to get the chance to chat with you all one-on-one, -on -one, answer any questions you may have, but for now, uh, if you want to get with one of the returning members, uh, we can show you a bit more of the camp and uh, yeah, answer any questions and I guess split off into some groups, so Sounds good to feel me. free to gather with whoever you would like. Anyone who wants to see around this place, follow me. Sure, Brian, you why can not? Even come. Uh, oh, uh, Soren, uh, maybe you stay with me. Uh, Cassie, Sorry. was it? Uh, yeah. Uh, you come with me I'll as well. See you later. What if I uh, went with him? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that'd be fine. Along with us, if you'd like. I mean, right. if you wish. Uh, thank you, anyway, though. Uh, of course. Uh, I'll, I'll see you later, Cole. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Good luck. So this here is the recreational hall. Um, we had it updated quite a bit. We have, you know, yeah. game tables, you know, nice little this sitting nice. area. This yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's one of my favorite areas. Um, you know, just a cool place to hang out. Uh, hopefully it's used more this time around. I certainly used it. Yeah, I mean, I guess we did, but I mean, not as much as I would have liked to. If you remember, this is also where we first did the tomb juice thing. <laughs> oh, trust me, I, I remember. What's tomb juice? You don't need to worry about that. Well, I mean, oh, I'm sure okay. we'll have it at some point. It's essentially a, a drink, and it has special effects on people. Uh, special effects? Oh. Yeah, it, it does a lot of weird things to, well, your body. It can give you different legs, you can grow another arm, <laughs> but it, it wears off as well. Speaking so. of legs, by the way. Uh, we uh... don't need to talk about that. Um, You and I can talk later, okay? Uh, okay, okay. Great. Uh... Uh, so, um, uh, what are you guys thinking of the camp so far? It's really nice. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, it's nice to have new faces this time around. Um, it's so bright and there's just so much nature and uh, yeah, all that's right. Uh, Coley, you, it's, you came from the underworld too, right? Correct. Uh, Soren here actually just came from the underworld. This is actually his first time 
oh. on Earth. I know you have been here before, but uh, oh. maybe I've you could help. I've never seen you before. Are you? What part of the underworld are you from? Um, part of the deeper part of the underworld. Um. Oh, yeah. I don't go down there too often, to be quite honest. I uh, mostly spend time in my garden in the underworld, and that's pretty much near the the crust. So, you have a garden Isn't... in the underworld. Mm hmm. Maybe Isn't I can it... show it to you sometime. I'd love Isn't that. Isn't a deeper part of Isn't a deeper part of the underworld Tartarus? Um, uh, one of the deeper I mean, parts there's... is Tartarus, but <laughs> I layers. seriously doubt that a monster from Tartarus would one ever escape Tartarus, and two end up in a camp like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. That's crazy. <laughs> the only ones I know down there are the ones I read about, those giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it gets pretty crazy. Uh, but luckily, we don't have to worry about that since we're all here now, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> out of the underworld, out of mind. <laughs> exactly. Um, but anyways, uh, I mentioned before, or I don't remember if I mentioned, uh, this year we've expanded the camp quite a bit. Uh, usually... In the past, it's just been the Greek pantheon, but this year we have the Asian pantheon, the Polynesian pantheon, and the Egyptian. So, oh, right, you guys, I mean, even you, Soren, since you're with me, will all be representing the Greeks in the festival and in the events. So, I expect you all to be working on your training and getting in tip top shape for them because oh, we definitely want to represent our pantheon. Right. That's one of the reasons that Persephone and Hades sent me up here, actually. Really? Mm-hmm. That and to uh, watch over Zylo a little bit, because they say he <laughs> tends to be a bit rambunctious. Um, so. Oh, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Tattoos. Yeah, I think I've got my work cut out for me. But I'm excited nonetheless. You know, it's <laughs> kind of funny he mentions that, actually. I think that's the only thing that the my dad and his and Hades have ever agreed on, actually. What's that? To winning this whole competition. It's like, they're super, like, into winning this thing. Yep. That's, uh, that's what we're all here for, so... And it sounds like a pretty big deal. It, it is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it's a scary uh, thought when all three of the big gods kind of, like, agree on this. Kind of don't yeah. want to disappoint them even more, right? <laughs> no. Definitely not. Trust me on that one. They are very competitive. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Do you guys have any more uh, questions? Anything you'd like to see, or? <laughs> mm. uh, not in particular, you know... I'm very up for adventure, though. Great. Well, Wait, there's have guys... plenty. Have you guys eaten anything today, actually? No, I actually. Um, haven't. Now, come to think of it, no. Well, we can I... get some food. Yeah, I guess we could head over to the cafeteria if you guys would like. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. Follow me. Well, I have to say, that went better than I thought. It was nice meeting actual people for a change and not just <laughs> monsters. Everyone here... At at least in the Greek pantheon, so far seems pretty great. I wonder when I'll get to meet the other ones. I guess there is one minor hiccup. Well, I guess it's not really minor, it's kind of a major hiccup. My father sent me here with a very specific mission in mind. But never did I, or I assume he, think that I'd run into the son of Zeus. I definitely can't let Mario know who I am. I can't let anyone at this camp know who I am. S specifically him, though. If he knew who I was, that would for sure get in the way of my mission. I mean, with the history that Zeus and my father have, he's the one who sent my father to Tartarus in the first place. I don't know what Mario would do if he found out that Typhon's son escaped Tartarus and was in the overworld. I can't think about that right now. Kay told me to come over into the Greek area and find a cabin to live in. Um, wow, these buildings look great. Honestly, I feel like I would go with something like this one. 
because there's a lot of people around, and, well, maybe I can meet some new friends. It'd be nice having some friends for a change. I've never had any. I think this camp is going to be really good for me. But I need to remember my mission. I can't get too sidetracked. Hey, Kay! Oh, Soren, hey! Nice seeing you again. Um, I just wanted to say thank you again for bringing me here and letting me stay here. Well, of course, it... I don't know, it just, just seemed... Right, I guess. You coming in from the underworld, um... Yeah. I know you heard a bit about it earlier, I... I've spent some time myself in the underworld, and... I... I know how it can be down there. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a lot better up here, so far. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's great. Um, but, uh, yeah, are you uh, enjoying camp so far? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to, you know, play in all these games and hopefully do well <laughs> representing the Greek pantheon. Yeah. It's a... Are... are you okay? Um... Yeah, there's just... there's... I've been seeing something lately. Um, I guess seeing it's... Something? Like what? Uh... Probably can't see it. I... <gasps> what is that? Wait. You see it too? The shadow figure? Yeah. That thing has been following me for a couple of days now. I, 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 I'm not sure what it is or who it is. Well, if you want, I can. We can go after it. I mean, it has okay. to be terrifying. It following you. Come yeah. On. Uh, let's do it. Oh uh, wait. Where'd it go? Uh, wait, Kate. It's flying away. Let's go get no, it. No, 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 Soren, come back. Why? You just hurt your wing, and you're still healing. Plus. It looks like we scared it off. Yeah, but you know it's gonna come back. No, I know, and that's why it's not worth going after it right now. I have to, I don't know, just think and figure out what or who it could be. Do you have any ideas? No, uh, not really, um, but I don't know. Something tells me it's not exactly a friendly creature by any means. Absolutely. Uh, but, so uh, sorry. don't... It's okay. Uh, don't mention it to anyone, though. Um, just, it's the start of camp. I don't want anyone to worry or be scared, and especially yeah. Mario. Um, I don't want him to know about it. Mario? Uh, yeah. You mean the son of Zeus Mario? Uh, yeah, the, the son of Zeus Mario. Why... Um, why wouldn't you want him knowing? Well, uh... We're... We're kind of... Together. <laughs> um... Oh. Uh, yeah, it's probably not the best thing to hide from your significant other, but I, it's not like that, it's just... I can handle this on my own, and he's got a lot on his plate right now, and I just... I'd rather him not know. You know? Yeah, for for sure. Um, um so what's uh ever... what's Mario like? Um well he's he's great. Uh you know, for, for the most part. Uh why do you ask? 
Oh, no, no reason. I just, you know, had that conversation with him earlier. I just thought he seemed pretty cool, so that's oh, yeah. awesome that you two are together. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, um, he's, he is pretty great. Uh, speaking of which, I still do have some explaining to do for him, so uh, yeah. I guess um, I'll see you later. And like I said, just don't worry about the whole shadow figure thing. Uh, I've, I've got it under control. Um, All right, but Kay, please, if you need anything, you know where I am. Let me know. Yeah, I do. Thank you, Soren. I, I appreciate that. Um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. See ya. See ya. Breathe. It's okay. Ah! Whoa! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, it's okay. Haven't seen you around here yet. Hi, I'm Ricaro. Hi, Ricaro. I'm Soren. It's nice to meet you. Sorry it was like this. It's okay. Cool horns you got there. What are those on your face? Scales? Cool! <laughs> yeah, I guess. So were you a demigod too? I've been a whole lot of them lately. A demigod? Uh... Yeah, I am. Ooh, so... Who are your parents? Oh, well, I... uh. Come on, spill it! My dad's the Egyptian god. Set. Egyptian god? Well, that's a first for me. I've only met a couple folk from the Greek pantheon so far. You remind me a lot of my pups. Scales. The eyes. The monster pots. Just like him. Oh, weird. Was Set also some sort of... monster? Nope, but my pup sure was. That wouldn't make any sense, though. Because Typhon's still back home on Mercury. I'm sorry. Wh what did you just say? My pops, Typhon. He's back on the planet Mercury. In fact, that's actually where I came from. One day, he decided it was time for me to get sent here, to Earth. And... Soren? Hello? Time for a new champion. You, child, will be the strongest of my children yet.
What is this? A puny human? Disgusting. You can't possibly be my child. Your name will be Soren. But no one will ever know that you exist. You are my biggest disappointment by far. Be gone. I banish you to an eternity in the pit. May it be horrendous and vile. Get out of my sight. Finally, you're back. As I was saying, one day he told me that it was time to go. He sent me I'm off to- I'm so sorry, Ricaro. It, it was great meeting you, but I have to get going. I'll see you around. Oh. Alright. See you around. brother and he's also in earth realm Oh, um... Oh, well, hey, Soren, right? Yeah, Callius, right? Yeah. Nice Are you just you uh, heading over to the announcements? No, I actually wasn't planning on attending. Oh, well, how come? Well, I mean, it's not really the crowd for me. I don't really feel like I fit in very well with everyone else here, so... Yeah, I get that. I mean, honestly, I feel a bit the same. Like... Just because, you know, most of these people are from Olympus, or at least the overworld in general, and oh. we're coming from the underworld. Hello? Oh, hey! It's you. We saw you a little bit earlier at the gathering. Yeah. I didn't get your name. I can't remember. Uh, Cassie. Oh, right. Signs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, Cassie. I'm Coleus. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Soren. Soren. Yeah, I remember meeting you guys earlier. I saw your cabins earlier, but obviously didn't say anything. Oh, that's alright. I've been busy decorating and whatnot anyways. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. I don't have much to decorate with, but put up curtains. 
Oh, curtains oh, are nice. Nice. Yeah. Are you heading over to the announcements? Oh, uh, no. I actually didn't even know there were. What? Guys, this is camp. We're supposed to, you know, do camp activities and, and meet people and mingle and, and chat and whatnot, right? Yeah, just unfortunately the people make me a little bit uncomfortable, but... Yeah. I've been trying to branch out a little bit, but I'm just still not there yet. I don't think I can. The interactions oh. I've had so far have been good, but... Um, Same. It's still a little bit scary, I guess. Huh. I just want to ease into things, I suppose. Right. I get that. Well, what are you guys going to do instead? Um, I, I don't... No, yeah. I mean, I was just gonna head out to clear my head for a bit, but what are you guys doing? I don't really have anything planned. I'm assuming you're going to the event then. Oh, oh well, I, I, I was planning on it, yeah, but I mean, I, I don't know. I feel kind of bad if you guys aren't gonna go. I don't want you to just be like alone at your cabins or something. No, it's it's okay. I'm actually pretty used to being alone. Yeah. I Honestly, I, I got so caught up in the excitement of, like, my cabin and just being here in general, I haven't really explored as much as I wanted to. I actually haven't either. The only things I've seen are the couple parts that Kay showed us earlier, but... Same. Yeah. And I've, I've explored the Egyptian pantheon for literally a few seconds, but that's... Oh, really? It. Is it cool over there? I haven't, I haven't seen any of the other camps. I haven't <laughs> seen them either. Cool. I guess we could take a stroll around the campgrounds and stuff and see things. I mean, I'll find out all the announcements for my brother anyway, so... Oh, yeah, it's not like brother. Yeah. Philo, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. At least you have family here. Oh, well, so do I. Um, anyway, I have oh. something I kind of need to get to first. And also, I know the event doesn't start for, like, another hour or so. Maybe we could... Meet up then, if you would like. Yeah, oh, that'd be awesome. Okay. Really? Yeah. Sure. You guys seem pretty cool, so. <laughs> we can meet um over by the uh, Ramada, where the bench, the lunch tables are. All right. Yeah. That sounds All right. good. You guys said in about an hour. Yeah, I think that'd be that'd be good. Sweet. Right. Sweet. Well, it was nice to officially meet you guys, I guess. Yeah, for sure. You too. I'm gonna go put some finishing touches on my cabin then. <laughs> All right. Well, it was nice seeing you. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Are you okay? You look like you just seen a ghost. Uh, yeah, no, um, fine, just, uh, Is that a bit of... Shadow figure back? Are you okay? Um, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine, um, I just, uh, I had a nightmare about it, actually, um, but I, it's, it, it doesn't matter, it didn't mean anything. Oh, my mind's just, uh, I don't know. It's been a lot these past few days, and I guess I'm just really stressed. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I... did you did you need something? Yeah, I actually had a question. Um, sure. Word around the camp is you're the guardian of some oracle. That would that would be correct. Yes. Well, I heard it can help look into the future and the past, and I was wondering if I would be able to talk to it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Are you trying to figure out more information about your parents? Or Yeah, I've been having these weird flashbacks, and I was hoping that maybe if I could talk to it, I could maybe figure out who they are. Yeah, I, I get that 100%. Um, uh, by, by the way, do you know what, what time it is? 
Um, it's like early in the morning right now. Oh, crap. Alright, well, um, I, I just, I've gotta go over and uh, take care of Diabol and get some other things going. Um, here, uh, this is the Eye of Delphine. Um, to please take good care of it. Uh, you'll need it to get into the Oracle. Um, you know where the building is, right? Right across from the baseball field? Yes, I believe so. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, feel free to, you know, go check out the Oracle, speak with it, uh, as you wish, and, uh, just, uh, get the eye back to me whenever you can, okay? Of course. All right. Thank you so much, Kay. Of course, Soren. You have a good day. You as well. See you later. Bye. Hello? Hello, child. I sense distress, panic. What has you in a state of nervousness? I... I need answers. I have so many questions. Nothing is making sense right now. What answers do you see? My father, Typhon. He's a bad man. I sense fear. Please, I need to know the truth. If my father is trapped in Tartarus, then who is this? Ricaro, and why does he say that he too was raised by my father? The answer you are seeking is centuries in the past. Show me, please. I need to know. Typhon is cruel. He seeks power and destruction. A long time ago, your father learned of a powerful land, and made an even more powerful ally, Set, the Egyptian god of chaos and storms. Unfortunately, the plan they made was never fulfilled, because Zeus caught wind of what was going on, and banished Typhon to the pits of Tartarus for his crimes. Zeus could now have peace, knowing that the Titan was gone for good. But what Zeus didn't know is that Set gave Typhon a secret weapon. Though he was trapped in Tartarus, he was able to astrally project himself to wherever Set needed him to be, taking on a new form completely. Set used Typhon as a weapon for many centuries, but he was ultimately defeated by Horus. Set was still in need of Typhon's help, as he had a plan brewing for the future. Your stepbrother, Ricaro, was raised by the astral form of Typhon on the planet Mercury. He visited him frequently, and for long periods of time, often forgetting about his place in Tartarus. Him and Ricaro had a special connection. He was devastated the day he had to send him to Earth. That's insane. A special bond? My father hated me. Ricaro must be powerful or he would have never had an interest in him in the first place. My father seeks nothing but power. 
He has to be planning something big. I sense anger. What do I do? What is he planning? This life will lead you on many paths. Find the truth you are seeking. Thank you, Oracle. Calm down, Soren. It's okay. Worry about it later. Oh, he seems fine. Looks like he kind of belongs there. Hey, Coleus. Good for you. Oh, oh, gosh, you scared me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Is this a Look at this chicken Look in at a trash can? Yeah, I just walked by and he was just, he was just in here chilling. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Anyways, well, uh, cluck go. very loudly if you need help, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go meet up with Cassie. Oh, there she is. Hey, Cassie. Hey, guys. Hey. All done with your errands? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Can oh. Say that. Um, thanks for showing up. <laughs> yeah. Of course. You guys, ready to go exploring? I think they're starting the event. Yeah. yeah I mean, we should really have the, the whole place to ourselves. So. Sweet. All right. To <laughs> Descendants everywhere you walk is nice, but it's nice to be able to explore freely for a bit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Did you explore in there? Um, no, actually, Kay didn't take us over here. Is this the dining hall? I think so. I wasn't paying attention much. There was a big dude eating all the food and... Oh. Oh. Uh, it was an interesting tour, I guess you say. <gasps> oh, look! This must be the Asian Pantheon's camp. <gasps> this is so pretty. Whoa. Wow. Cherry blossoms. <gasps> I've never seen anything like this before. Cherry yeah. blossoms are beautiful. They only they only bloom in specific times of the year and specific parts of the world. Wow. Well, that's kind of good that we oh. are one then, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Holy we should God. do some planting around our side of the camp. We need some bigger trees and more flowers and bushes and whatnot. Some more so color I, too, it seems. I take yeah. it you're like um, into <laughs> flowers. <and plants. laughs> oh, I guess you could say that. <laughs> um, I am uh, the son of Persephone. So, oh, great. Um, yeah, we're all into, you know, agriculture, harvest, growing of plants and whatnot. That's so cool. Jakey's office. Really cool. Jakey? Mm. I don't know who that is. I actually don't but if he has an office, I'm assuming that's the counselor, right? Just like oh, yeah. Kay has an office? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because huh. I haven't even met a lot of the other Pantheon's counselors either. Yeah, actually, actually come to think of it, I haven't met anyone besides our Pantheon. Yeah, same. I a few people, but... Wow, this is insane. Whoa! It's a dojo! Wow. Huh. I wonder if this is where they have some of their events. Maybe. Probably. This is so cool! I would assume so. So are you guys, like, uh, for or against fighting, you know? Um, I wouldn't say I'm really for or against it, I guess just when necessary. Same. Um, right. I'm not much of a fighter, personally. Um, growing up as a prince, I'm more into dictatorship, I guess. A prince? Oh. Um, yeah, I'm the prince of the underworld. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. Crazy, so you have like a, a lot of power, right? Oh, well, I guess you could say that, but most of my power I try to harness in, you know, the beauty of things. Right. 
that's really cool. I leave the uh, harsh undead stuff to my father. <laughs> Hades. That uh -oh. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you love beauty. That's really cool. Yeah. I think there's beauty in everything. everything? Except, well, there's little beauty in the underworld, but it is there. <laughs> you just have to look. Sometimes the beauty is more within than on the outside of things. Well, where no. are you from, Soren? Um, I'm actually from the underworld as well, so I have to say oh. I agree with Kalias. Being up here in Earth is really cool. It's a lot different, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose, and I guess it helps that we're at a camp surrounded by beautiful things and beautiful people and beautiful buildings. No. Yeah. Absolutely. So, it's... um, Soren? Yeah. Can I ask about your face and your arm? Oh, um, that's actually how I was born. I'm part monster, you could say, and I'm part reptile, part oh. snake. Who is your father or mother? Um, I actually don't know. I just actually visited the Oracle not too long ago. Kay let me go and visit. I was actually trying to find out answers for myself, but... Um, she, she let you in to see the Oracle? Yeah. Did you get any information? Um, not that much. I mean, I guess I got a little bit, but not really what I was looking for. Oh. Oh, well, maybe we could... Uh, you still have, like, access to it? Um, I guess you could say that I do, but I need to get it back to Kay as soon as possible. She kind of entrusted me with it, so I just... Right. Well, you guys are extremely powerful, so we should just continue moving, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've heard stories of the Oracle, but I've never actually spoken to it myself. Me neither. Do you hear that? What was that? It sounded like it was coming from inside the Egyptian place, right? Yeah. Like, kind of chanting or screaming? Something like that. I wonder if the Egyptian people aren't taking part of the event. Maybe not. Hello? Hello? Whoa. This place is really cool, too. Isn't this is it so beautiful? pretty. Whoa. Look at all the flowers. I know. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. These places are insane. I've never seen anything like them before. They Same. did a great job with preparing all of Camp Oasis. This is so cool. Yeah, the buildings are really beautiful. I didn't actually get to go in the pyramid. Do you think there's, there's a, a mine? There's a pyramid? I don't know. Yeah, this way. <laughs> yeah. Look. I saw the peak of it. <gasps> wow. I mean, if no one's here, I guess we could really quickly take a peek, right? I won't tell if you guys don't. That's okay. Good. Hello. Whoa. Oh my. <gasps> Wow! Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> the way that this thing sparkles. <laughs> They're That's... made out of crystals. So, so cool. Beautiful. Wow. This must be where they all live. Oh yeah, look. Looks like they all have their rooms. Oh. They all live in this pyramid? Yeah. A lot more uh, confined than the Greek pantheon. Yeah, that's for sure. I will say it's a lot more roomy in here than I was expecting it to be. I mean, it is a pyramid versus a cabin, so... Yeah, that's true. I guess I've never been in a pyramid before. <laughs> uh, I guess I haven't either. Huh. Wow. This is Interesting. incredible. I wonder where their counselor lives. Do you think they live in here? Um, in the I weapons room? assume so. I just mean in the... Oh, well, I didn't see any other housing for the Egyptians. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know who their counselor is, though. I don't either. Looks like there's just some rooms up here for some of the inhabitants. I don't really know. Hmm. Yeah. I ran into two of them, and they were very nice. Oh, oh really? really? Mm hmm 
they were very kind, very sweet. And when I say I ran into them, I lit ran to them. Oh. oh. So I suppose uh, they were still nice even after being slammed into. Oh, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Everyone's really nice here, but I would hate to get on anybody's bad side, you know? Yeah, for sure. Everyone that I've met here has been pretty great as well. I just wish I wasn't so awkward. <laughs> I would try to okay. fit in a little bit more. I mean, I feel that way too, but I really think the more time we spend here, the easier it'll get. I mean, it's feeling a little bit easier now, right? Agreed. <laughs> well, thanks for touring, you guys. Yeah, this place is so beautiful. Yeah. It's incredible. Um, maybe if there's still time, we could try and make the end of the announcements. But I'm not sure where they're actually holding it now that I think about it. Either. Um, honestly, could for some food. Yeah. You know what? I I second that or third that. <laughs> yeah. If there's um any left in here for us to eat. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, I think this will do nicely. Well. Coleus and Cassie seem pretty great. Maybe I do need to open myself up a bit more. It felt good. Maybe I can even make some friends. I've never had any friends before. But there's now two people here that I need to be weary of. Ricaro, my apparent stepbrother. And Mario, the son of Zeus. I can't imagine what would happen if either of them found out who I was. I know Kay says Mario is great, but I can't see things going well if he knew I was Typhon's blood. <sighs> Speaking of Typhon, I need to figure out what my father is planning. But... It's okay to relax a little bit, Zorin. Just take it day by day. Day by day. son. Do it. Don't you dare disappoint me again. Father, 
I know that you and Zeus have bad blood, but I don't think Mario is a bad person. He is the enemy. Get rid of him now. What are you waiting for? He's getting away. No. I won't do it. Maybe I misheard you. Did you just... I won't do it. He seems... nice. Nice? His father banished me to the pits of hell for eternity. Does that sound like nice to you? And you banished me to an eternity in that pit! You're cruel, father. Maybe you two aren't so different after all. You belonged in that pit, boy. I never thought something so vile could be my own blood. Well, I'm out now. I was strong enough to escape. Don't be a fool! The only reason you are in the Earth Realm now is because I didn't burn you to a crisp. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? I couldn't be more excited to get away from you. You may have given me life, but you ruined it as well. Say that again to my face, boy. set you on this mission. You're going back to the pit. Forever. No, stop, please. No. No. Soren? Soren. Uh, hey. Okay. Soren? Hey, I didn't mean to just barge in, but I heard you saying no, so I wanted to make sure you were okay. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. I think I was having a nightmare or something. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, anything I can help with? No, it's, it's okay. Ever since I spoke to the Oracle, I've been having these weird nightmares and flashbacks and I don't know I'm I hoping see. that I'm getting a little bit closer to solving who my parents are well I hope so too um speaking of the oracle that's actually why I stopped by um can I get the eye back possibly oh yeah there you go thank you appreciate that and if you need to talk about something just let me know Okay. Okay. Thank you um, again so much for letting me borrow that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh I've I've got to go now. Um oh. but uh I'll okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay? Okay. Uh, 
Bye. Bye. Thank you again. It's okay, Soren. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. I need to find some way to calm myself down. There's so much on my mind right now, I can't even think straight. I need, just need something to distract myself for a while. And I'm thinking, <laughs> what better than maybe some kind of game or something in the recreational hall? Maybe I can find something to do in here. I mean, there's a ton of activities to do at the camp, so this is this is the main area for activities. So maybe I can find a book to read. No, I <laughs> I can't read, so that wouldn't really work. But I guess maybe I could write something. But I forgot no one actually ever taught me how to write either. <sighs> this game looks interesting. The two different colored squares. I wonder how you play that. <sighs> I guess it would be nice to have some people in here to play, you know, something with. But definitely need to try to branch out more. Still don't really have any friends. What are these? Little pieces of paper. Interesting. Maybe I can have someone teach me how to read. I mean, there's so many books in here. I don't know what I'm going to do otherwise. I mean, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Growing up in a cage, I guess. No one really tells you how to hang out with people, or play games, or read books, or write stories. I mean, what's this? It's like a table with colorful balls on it. I'm assuming that these sticks have something to do with it as well, but... I don't know. And is this some sort of punching bag kind of thing? It's the only thing I can assume. <laughs> Oh, what's in here? Classroom? Oh, people must come in here and <laughs> just learn stuff. I wonder if I can look into any classes going on. Maybe I can learn how to read and write. That'd be cool. Definitely start fitting in a little bit better. What's down here? A staircase? Where does this lead? Huh. Arts and crafts. Interesting. Um, this room's kind of creepy. I think I'm just going to go ahead and avoid this one. What's this? The media center? <gasps> Whoa. These are those computer things that everyone's been talking so much about. I've never seen a computer before. These are so cool. Wow. Yeah, I'll definitely have to come back at some point and check these out. Hmm, what's down here? Storage room? Oh, but it's blocked off. I wonder what's in there. I probably shouldn't break in. Staff only? Well, I mean, definitely not staff, but I also definitely don't see anyone down here that's going to stop me. Ooh. Hey, it's another one of those tables with the colorful balls on it. Wow. And a whole kitchen? Just to the staff? That's pretty cool. Maybe they'll have to sneak down here more often. Maybe they'll have some better snacks and a better variety of food as well. I don't know. <gasps> a TV! Oh, that's perfect. Let's see what's on. Maybe I can find something to distract me for a while.
Welcome to Moku. Here on this beautiful island paradise, we have many luxuries. Come on, let's take a look. Of course, your first stop on our beloved island should be on the beach. Kick off the shoes and get some rest and relaxation on the warm and soft sand. When you're done admiring the beautiful ocean views, head on over to the gorgeous forest where we have a wide variety of wildlife. There's always something new to see there. Blah, 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 blah. We all know you're here for the lava jumping and surfing. Oh, wow. Austin, you need to have a calm voice to attract tourists to our island. Oh, right, right. Channel my inner Bob Ross. It wouldn't be home without a beautiful volcano to provide you with food, free entertainment, and a place to talk to your mother. Right. Well, that's not all the beautiful island of Moku has to offer. We are also a very open and diverse group of pantheons. In fact, we had help from this beautiful daughter of Aphrodite. Whoa. I told you guys I wasn't doing this. Come on, this way it'll be fun. Here you can see the beautiful exquisite gardening skills on display. The way the colors flow are guaranteed to distress anyone. That's so pretty. So what's not to love? Come on down to Moku. Enjoy the breathtaking views. The serene sounds of the ocean. And the glistening lights coming straight from Pele herself. Ooh, wow. We even have some hotel rooms for you and your families. The cheapest and most clean. There's nothing to hate. Stay for a day or a week. Call 1 800 25. Forget the call. Just come on down. This is lame. This is amazing, is what she meant. Moku, huh? How do I get there? Hey. <gasps> Cassie? Soren, you... So, uh, oh, ho, um, hold on one second, just ho hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, sorry. What? Hi. What happened to you? You're all it's... cut up? You look terrible. I do? Well, not in the sense of like, I mean, you have cuts all over. Like, did someone I'm... do this to you? No, I, I'm I'm fine. I I I, could, I should just go home. No, Cassie. Seriously, these injuries look kind of serious. Like we should get those cleaned really? up. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll take you to Kay's office. I think it's no, 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 no. Um, may, that's probably not the best idea right now. Maybe we could just go somewhere else. Oh, uh. The cat yeah. house. I think there might actually be another infirmary in the cafeteria somewhere. Um, here, come on. I'll take you okay. there. Okay. Thanks, Soren. Okay, you ready? This might sting a little bit. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Ow! Ooh. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, I'm fine. I just... I don't want that to get infected or anything. Yeah. Thank you. You really didn't have to do that. No, it's... It's okay. I mean... We're friends, so I don't wanna... Really? Yeah. Of, of course. I mean... Thanks, Soren. Actually, my first friend that I made here, so it's pretty mm. special to me. Wait, really? I'm your first friend? Yeah, I don't really feel like I'd fit in very well with the rest of the people at the camp and any of the pantheons, really. I mean... <sighs> huh. Interesting. I mean, it just seemed like you and Kay were so close. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Kay. I mean, there is, like, a special bond there, but I don't know. I mean, 
you know, the first person that I've been able to really sit down and like just talk with. Just wow. feel like I can be open with. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad I can at least be that for you, and I guess I would call you a friend too. Really? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> same situation here. I haven't uh, necessarily made a lot of friends, or actually, I've made a lot of enemies, to be honest. Really? Mm hmm Like... It's... Who? It's... A long story, I guess. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. Well, it's not that I don't want to talk about it. It's just... Well, this happened because... I wanted to go see the Oracle. The Oracle? And... Yeah. Did you talk to Kay? I did, actually, and... Kate didn't do this to you, did she? No, Kay no, 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 no. Kate wouldn't do this. No, 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 Kate, Kate didn't do this to me, but... Mario did. Mario did this? Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, I deserved it. I was irrational, and... I don't know, I saw her give you the key, and I wanted private time alone with the Oracle, because it was sensitive, and... No. I don't know. No matter what the circumstance was, Mario shouldn't have done this. Yeah, it's I... Not okay. I guess, but... I was out of line. I mean... I guess, but... I don't, I don't know. know. I just... I saw that she... gave you the key to go speak with the Oracle, and... I wanted to know some... some things, I guess. So... What are all these things that you want with the Oracle? I mean, the first time that we met, you asked about the Oracle as well. Is there something, like, important about it? Is it just you want answers to something? What are you looking for? I... <laughs> I want to call you a friend, but I don't... I don't know how honest I can be with you without revealing a lot about me, Soren. It's okay, Cassie. You can trust me. I promise. I mean, it's not like I have any other people in this camp that I really trust. I mean... That's true. It's really only you right now. The Oracle killed my sister. The... Well, it's, it's a long story, but... Yeah, basically... <laughs> I said I was... The daughter of Eros. That's a lie. Wow, I can't believe I just said that. What? Yeah, I... I wanted to come here for power. Because my mom... Basically betrayed me my whole life. It's it's a really, really long story. The point is, is the Oracle sacrificed my sister. What? Yeah, and... That's... I guess I wanted to... If I'm being honest, I wanted to destroy the Oracle, but maybe I just want to know why. I, I don't know. Cassie, I'm so sorry. That's awful. That's, that's okay. But I, when Kay said that I couldn't be alone with the Oracle, I guess I flipped out a little bit. Well, I mean, I can't guarantee anything, but... Maybe I can get Kay to let you see the Oracle for a bit. As long as you promise not to go crazy or destroy it or anything. Definitely just Wait, to get answers. Really? You would do that? Um, I'll have to see. I can't guarantee anything, but... Maybe. You're a really... You're a really good friend, Soren. I appreciate that. Of course. So what's your story? I wish I could tell you more. It's not anything about trust or any of that. I just, I don't even personally know myself. I came here to discover more about my parents. But ever since mm -hmm. I saw the Oracle, I've been having these weird dreams and flashbacks and nightmares. 
I've been seeing more of my childhood and it's been scary. So the Oracle cursed you too? I guess you could say that. I have more of a feeling that it was my parents than anything, though. I mean, all these flashbacks and just memories I've been having have been terrible. I mean, mm. the only thing I do remember is coming from the underworld. When I was a kid, I grew up in a cage. A I didn't, cage? Yeah. I didn't have any friends, any family. I just grew up alone. Just in a cage. That's horrible. So you don't really know who your mother or your father is then? No, but I'm still hoping to get some answers. I hope you can too. And if there's anything I can do for you, Soren, I'm here. Thank you. I mean, you're the first one to understand my situation. And I appreciate that. Of course. By the way, well, um, I don't know if you're comfortable, but I treated the cut on your arm a little bit, but I did notice earlier there was one on your face, too, before you put the mask back on. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. That one looks pretty serious, too. Yeah, well, Let me get another I, was, I was blown back by the son of Zeus, so I don't know what I was thinking. I still can't believe that Mario did this to you. Yeah, it was kind of a serious situation, but lesson learned. I had, no one's ever shut me down before after standing up to them, so I just need to wait till I'm powerful. Do you have any ideas of how to get the power that you're looking for? Is it just, are you hoping maybe the Oracle can help you or? I don't know. I, I wanted to talk to the Oracle to see the history of my sister, to, to know why, why she was the sacrifice that had to be made to Poseidon. But anyway, no, I, I don't know. And that's really why I came here. And also I, I want to be beautiful. What do you mean you want to be beautiful? You and are beautiful, Cassie. What, What's wrong with you? The... the you... The, the, the scar on my face, the birthmark, the curse, whatever you want to call it, it's disgusting. My mother told me my entire life. Your mother sounds like an awful person. She is. And Just... that's why I need the power. There's nothing wrong with your face, Cassie. I mean, do you see my face? I have scales on my face. I'm part reptile. Yeah, I guess we have a lot more in common than I thought initially, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that why you're always wearing the mask? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's actually been the norm for me my entire life, but I don't know. It's uh, quite unfortunate, but once I can find beauty, then I will never have to have that mask again. But anyway, I, I know you're probably extremely busy, and thank you for helping me. Of course. Um, I was actually on my way to some island called Ma Maku? Moku? I... Moku, mm-hmm. Do you, have you heard of it? Yeah, just, uh, be careful there. Be careful? My, yeah, my aunt, well, now you know not actually my aunt, but, uh, I asked for her help and she denied me. They all did. So I guess just be careful. Okay. Thank you for the heads up, Cassie. To be fair, you're really the only one who's wanted to help me so far. Thank you. Of course. I'm here for anything you need. Just, if you need more help with anything, please don't hesitate to ask me. 
I mean, to be fair, you are just right across the pathway, huh? That's true. That's I nice. appreciate that. Of course. Uh, do you know which direction the smoke yeah, is, by the way? I had to take a boat. It is east, right off the dock. All right, east. Not east. very good with directions, but I <laughs> hope that... Just head towards I'll the ocean. Over. Okay. Thank you Thanks, again. Soren. I'll see you soon, yeah? I'll see you around. Bye. Bye. All right, she said east. Um, up here, I think. I think this is the way towards the ocean. Um, God, I'm so bad with directions. But, wow. Cassie and I have a lot more in common than I thought we did. I mean, I knew we'd be pretty close after our last conversation, but who would have thought that she has so many secrets and they'd be so similar to the secrets that I have? I mean... About her parents. That she's hiding who she is. It's just like me. <sighs> I mean, I'd love to tell her one day about my secret, but I don't want to make her upset with the fact that I've been lying to her this whole time. I mean, this is the second time now that I've told her that I don't know who my parents are. And... <sighs> she just confessed so much to me. So open and so honest. And I mean, I was too about mostly everything, but there's definitely a lot that was left out. But also, Mario? Maybe he's not as good of a person as I thought he is. I mean, I don't know what Cassie did to incite such violence from him, but I don't think anything calls for those bruises and scrapes that she has all over her. I mean, she said he electrocuted her. He's the son of Zeus. I know he's powerful. That much power definitely did a lot more damage than Cassie's telling me. All right. So too much on my mind again. Definitely need to get away. Um, this has to be the direction. What is this? Some... Whoa. That's so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. <gasps> there. That has to be it. Yes. Over the water. That's it. Moku. Ah, well, finally, we're done. I hate that guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go watch the ocean. Okay, yeah, let's go watch the ocean. You know. Uh, hello. Oh, another oh, one. Hi. Hi. Oh, what is that? Well, uh, yeah. ugh, a dragon thing. Scales. Ugh. Uh, hey, you guys can be nicer to visitors, you know? Uh, welcome! Welcome to Moku! Uh, hi, um, I saw some ad on the TV back at the Greek camp, Ooh. just some you vacation saw the destination. Ad? Yeah. Guys, 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 can really uh, this is all time. saw the ad. Yeah. Alright, let's take a seat <clears> for this. Guys, was I not uh, right. supposed to see the ad? Welcome to Moku! Yeah, woo! Moku! We got hey. buffet and spa. Wow. Hot tubs. Yeah. Uh, cabanas. Uh, and yeah. Brie. And Brie. <laughs> I don't come with the island. This place looks uh -huh. incredible. Uh, nice little it. coconut. These things. are our staff. Staff members, yes. They, help. they, they do work. All the time, you know, they do mm -hmm. uh, security chefs, everything, uh -huh. even they're later. good for throwing yeah. at people, too. Yeah, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't throw my wait, it's all customer, bro. Yeah, sometimes you have to throw the coconuts at your terrible cousins oh. or pe 
people that come in and are rude. And yeah. Stuff like that. He's joking. He's joking. He's, he thinks oh, he's, he's a comedian. Joking. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Joking. Yep. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Then a little bit of tension. Oh, what's... What, what's on what's your that? arm? Is that a rock? Um, it's okay. actually it looks, scales. Looks, here, hold this. Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. Doesn't Take it this look? One. Look, it looks the exact same. Oh. It, it doesn't look like the exact same. Do you guys think that looks the... Look, rock. rock. It's rock similar, rock. but Let it doesn't look like scale. I, I think they're both red, bro. Do you, you just... mind if I eat your arm? Whoa, 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 are on a roll, throwing no, I... people volcanoes and then asking to eat their arms. Okay, look, it's been a oh. rough day. Here, why, why don't you snack you guys on that? Okay. threw someone into a volcano? No. No, no that was in a was... TV show that we watched. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we also okay. have a five-star okay. movie theater as well. Yeah, five-star. Movie star. theater. Yeah, everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. What, what, should we introduce ourselves, guys? Oh, I feel like I've introduced myself like 12 times today. Well, is that popular, yeah. bro? Just... Uh, hi. I know, but, I know, maybe we should wear name tags or something, you know? Like We ooh. should. Do you have a name tag? Um, I don't, who cares I, a name tag? Fortunately, I didn't bring any name tags. Sorry. All right. Uh, well, uh, you uh, go first. Nose goes. Nose uh, goes. Nose oh, goes. oh, that was go a ahead. tie. That was a tie. I will right, go boy, first. Looks like you're first. Oh, oh yeah. no, oh. I I think you guys should go first, especially that you own this nice establishment. We do, we do, we do. Okay, I I am Seek, the son of Kane, the best. <clears throat> okay, next. Uh, I guess it's me. Hi, my, my name's Colin. Uh, I'm the son oh. of Maui. Oh boy, bro. Wow, the energy, bro. Oh, okay, you know it's fine. Hello, customer. My name is Colin. I'm the son of Mal. You know, if you yeah. guys want to enjoy the beaches and whatnot, you know, it's uh -huh. great. Five star. Five, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, hi, my name. Refreshing smoothie. You're not done. Wow. Oh, okay. Who? You're the only one that extends your introduction. I have a bunch I got, like, of yeah. souvenirs yeah. already for being here. I've only been here a couple right. minutes. Here's some more food for you. So you can throw the rock. Do you just Yo, I go bro, carry around? around in front of the customer. Nice. Uh, what, what? What happened? No fighting. Okay. I we also have uh, entertainment as well, live entertainment. Uh, live it's a little, a little live teaser. You're gonna see that a lot, actually. Yeah. A lot if you stay here. Uh, my my name's Austin. I'm the son of Pele. Oh, my name is Soren. I actually don't know who my parents are, but uh, oh, that's... Yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. Oh, you look like a a rock, like a me. Rock. I'm a rock, that... and you're a rock. Oh, Whoa, you guys have like that half half thing going on. Yeah, we Whoa. do actually. You want to see my volcano? So you have a volcano? I built a volcano. Yeah, I built it. Oh. We built this whole entire island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. everything. Yeah. Here's my volcano. That's impressive. Whoa. So, you actually have a volcano? I wasn't sure if it was part of that comedian shtick or not. Um. See, now wow. nobody's ever going to believe me. I mean, Thanks. You. you can make it erupt if you if you want. I don't Ooh. have a problem with that. So, but what if my mom flows out of it? Uh, oh yeah, true. Your mom? Yeah. Is is she the one you threw into the volcano? Was that not a joke? I wouldn't be I... surprised. No, my mom lives in the volcano. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, she's a volcano oh. goddess. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Is that? Yeah, she likes it in there. It's I hope nice and oh. toasty. I've never actually seen her in there. I hope, I hope she's in there. Oh. So, what kind of live entertainment were you guys talking about earlier? Oh no. Oh. Uh, you guys, have, you kind of already saw some of it. It's um, their uh, it, 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 fighting. Um, uh, yeah. This is, fighting this is our live entertainment, action. right here. Go, go, do something. I don't, I don't do anything. Do something. Uh, Fly around them. Fly, fly, fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use yeah, the yeah. wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I really, I really don't do any. Colin does some pretty cool oh, stuff. Live uh, hey, whoa, whoa, uh, that's the uh, live entertainment. Yeah, hey, do live watch this. Live entertainment. Do I really have to? Not for do the thing. thing. Yeah, do what? the thing. Do the Come thing. On. Okay. All right. Let's. Okay. <gasps> I'm a whale. Whoa. 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 Ooh, live whoa. entertainment. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. I hate this. So cool. Yeah, you know. Cool. Are you just able to transform into whales, or can you do different yeah. animals? Can you? More, more, more. 
Yeah, encore, encore, encore. 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 My, my, my dad's a shapeshifter, so you know, it, it, okay. Um, I mean, I, I got this. Hey. What is this? It, 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 I believe it's a penguin, I think. Yeah, it's I don't a penguin. Know. The penguin. cutest penguin ever. Hey, don't touch my feathers, all right? Wait, I'm not, I'm have not. Feathers? That's so they cute. Don't, right? I have no idea. You're the penguin. You don't even know your own fuck. I don't, I don't even know what I look like. Does anyone got a mirror? It's water. It's water. Oh my god. Oh, I actually look really cute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Guys, look at me. Is this I'm the really first cute. time you ever thought to do that? Aww. You know, it's it's difficult, but uh, can I go back to human now? Are, are we down? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, Seek's got some live entertainment. Yeah, you're up, buddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Let's see, you know, uh, uh, we oh, Whoa! Wow! Wee! Entertainment! Entertainment! You want to fly? I got it. You know, technically, see, you could probably make people fly. You know, go up there and then, whoosh. You should try it. Oh, uh, I could try it. Okay, okay. Here. That looks like Colin. Fun. Don't try it on me. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Is that cool? Live entertainment. You know, I, 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 I could also make people fly. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't. You know, oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, okay. Oh, all right. This is a little weird. All right. Hey, get off me. Get off me. <laughs> okay. We. Yeah, so if, you're, if you're here and you like what you what you see, you can live here forever. Forever? Mm -hmm. Forever. Forever. Although I wouldn't recommend it. Probably whoa, just. What? Uh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Um, we have five we star have reviews on. Five star buffet, uh, uh, beds, everything. Really? What is gold? What is gold? What is gold? <laughs> you know, uh, it, yeah, I'll make it more. Great. So, oh. it, you think you'll you'll stay and stuff, right? I mean, sh sh should we show um, him the, the cabins and? Oh yeah, you want to see where you could live oh, for the very, man. very, very low price of uh, um, um, what do we tell the other guy? Uh, what did we tell the other guy? Your ex? Uh, yeah, I think you guys said like seashells and I think don't we said, call like, him ex. Gosh. Without, uh, we need a human sacrifice, and you can live here. Whoa! Oh. Wait, wait. Um, yeah, I don't I'm, do I'm joking. I'm joking. He's keeping up with the comedian. So thing. you know, also, yeah. the pool as well, uh, huh? it could be a hot tub. Just call me, and I'll, I'll warm it up. Oh, mm -hmm. right, that's our bar. Mm. Five yeah. star. Five star. Always five star. Yeah, that's a six star bar, actually. I kind of oh, want to work at the bar, to be Not honest. Bad. You want to work, but we have coconuts for that. Just five star. Yeah, so uh, all these cabins are available except for except one. Except one. Yep. It's my line. You always try to steal my lines. You, you guys like my lines, huh? a new island, or do you guys just not have a lot of people yet? Or Oh, uh, uh, well, I mean, it is a new island. We just recently built this island. Mm -hmm. uh, Coco's built all like the buildings and stuff. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of interested parties, you know. Um, so if you're interested, you should act quick. Once again, the price is uh, 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 um, not free. The price is human sacrifice, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Um, no, oh, no, 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 unless you have one. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, what? Well, no. I just want somebody to live here, okay? Um, well, I can't what do you guarantee mean? that everyone that I'll wants to live here. You know? live here, but definitely down to come visit every once in a while. It's really nice here. We lost one customer already. Yeah, that's uh, right. uh, so what you did? Uh, what I do. It's your fault. So yeah, we got a... Uh, if you want to rent one for a little while, that's... Don't yeah. Where's the bed in this one? Did the uh, uh, this bed? one is... Uh, uh, this uh, one's the one that's not available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's not, oh. not. That one's... It was a different one. Hey, this nah. one has two beds. Ooh, Do you need know. two beds? Do you ever get bored of one bed and you want to switch it up to the other bed? Um, you know, I can't Hi. say Hi. that I would. I'm actually not even used to sleeping with one bed, so... So how do you sleep? I sleep in a volcano, personally. I actually just sleep on the floor. Oh, you Why? like a bed. It's very refreshing. Yeah, they look pretty comfy. You should try a volcano. No, you want no, not no. value life. I would not recommend that. I actually grew what? up in the underworld, so a volcano probably wouldn't Wait, be too place? far Under off. Underworld? Can you Is it underworld thing? 
Oh, uh, have you guys had a couple people here that are also from the underworld? Yeah, her ex was from the underworld. Not my name? ex. It, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go check in here. You guys keep him entertained. Uh, so okay. can you take us to this underworld thingy, please? Yeah, yeah. We, we would like to know because apparently um, everyone's going there, and uh -huh, I think it, we're left out. It's our competition. You know, we should take some notes, maybe. Yeah. What if What if people people like it there? Mm -hmm. I beat them. Oh, um, I definitely can tell you it's not as nice as it is here. Also, I definitely wouldn't be able to take you guys there, but I'm sure that if you really wanted to go, there's some people back at the Greep camp that could take you. Have you guys talked to them at all? I think it's this island um, right here. That guy? I think... I mean, we can check in with my brother. Your brother? Oh, yeah, that... that that's oh, cool. yeah. You didn't mention that. that. You know what? I never properly introduced myself. I'm Bree, oh, nah, daughter of Aphrodite. It's nice to meet oh. you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, welcome back. Wait, I heard Greek. Sorry, I, I had to do my makeup. What? Your what? My makeup. You have to cover the the, the lava acne. Shut up! Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, uh, something happened on my face. I'm okay now. I heard something about Greek. You're Greek? Yeah. She's Greek. Whoa! Wait. Yeah. That Does that mean you guys are cousins? Whoa! You guys have wings. You have. Are um, we? I don't remember what the one guy. I don't. Was. I think so. Horns, maybe? Oh, he does have horns. Oh. Hey, grow your horns. Grow the horns. I don't have horns. Do you? you are you able? Well, oh, you to said you didn't know who your parents were. How? How are you cousins then? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think we're cousins. I don't. But you could be. I mean, we could be, but he doesn't could, know who his parents are. So the best way to know if you're cousins. Is to save your cousins. Well, actually, to be fair, I guess I don't know if I'm actually Greek or not. I've been staying there, though. I actually, oh. when I came here, Kay took me in and brought me to the camp, and I've just been staying oh, there. Was that, the, was that the counselor lady? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, the I'm the counselor guy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Are you the counselor of this pantheon area? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever that means. So cool. Well, um, this place is really nice, guys. I mean, definitely town to come visit more often if you guys are willing uh, to have me. But yeah, again, I don't know if I'm able to rent it. I don't have any money or any seashells or a human sacrifice, unfortunately. Uh, um, what do you have? Um, I have. These rocks. Is that a rock? I'll take, and I'll take, I'll take, I'll take the apple. I'll there take you the go. Apple. Honestly, oh, there you go. Oh, there sorry. you go. Yes, hey, you're those. welcome to come anytime. Anybody yeah, who has rocks for me is allowed to come. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. We're, we're very friendly here. You know. Yeah, you guys all seem really great. Yeah, yeah, we're amazing. We never throw coconuts. We never nope. caught a cousin. Uh -uh. We never thrown somebody in a volcano. Uh -uh. Never, you know. Then we're just great people in general. Mm -hmm. Great people. Right. All right. Well, um, it was nice meeting you all. Um, I'll definitely be seeing you around. Yeah. For uh, sure. Yeah. I, yeah. If you want to come back, that'd be great. You know. Uh, all right. Well, I actually have to head back over to the Greek camp for a little while, but um, maybe I'll come back sometime. All right. Okay. Bye. bye. See bye. you guys. Bye. Ohana forever! Ohana forever! <sighs> I don't know what to do. Everyone that I've met so far at this camp has been so great. But if I don't follow my father's orders, who knows what's gonna happen to me or honestly to any of the people here at this camp or honestly on earth. I mean, Kay, she's so sweet. I came through a portal from the underworld 
And yet, she, tre she treated me with such kindness and compassion. She took me in, gave me a place to live, helped heal my wings. She even let me see the oracle that she's in charge of to help me figure out who my parents are. And I lied to her. I've been lying to her. Coleus, he seems so nice and so innocent. And even though he too is from the underworld, I can see the good in him. He couldn't harm anyone or anything. He just wants to live on Earth and be happy. He wants Earth to be happy. He wants everyone here to be happy. Just be with nature. And Cassie, we have so much more in common than I ever thought even possible. She's lying about her parents too. I know she wants to be powerful. And while I can't imagine she's up to anything good, I can't blame her for wanting revenge on her mother. No one deserves to be treated like that. And of course, we can't forget the interesting group of people that live on the island Moku. Well, I will admit, they're a bit strange. They also seem pretty great. I can't imagine hurting any of them. And there's so many other people here at this camp and, and so many other pantheons that I haven't even met yet. I've only met such a small portion of them. I can't imagine kidnapping any of them and bringing them back to Tartarus with me. But my father has to be getting more and more furious with me right now. It's been over a week and I haven't yet retrieved the person that he's looking for. I haven't even given him an update. I don't know what to do. I can't disobey him. He'll kill me. Or worse, do something to this world. Come and find me. Come and find the person that he's looking for himself. I mean, I know Zeus trapped him in Tartarus, but he's Typhon. He's one of the most powerful beings in the world. I know that if he set his mind to it, he could escape. He could find his way out. I can't disobey him. He'll s he'd kill me. Or worse, send me back to that awful pit. But if I do obey him, no matter what, he'd kill someone here. Possibly one of my friends. Maybe this mission wasn't right for me. I mean, I'm not smart enough to find the person that he's looking for. Also, I've definitely come to realize that I'm not as much of a monster as I think I, as I thought I was. My father put his trust in me. I have to, I have to live up to his expectations. But I don't know what to do. I need to think. Clear my head a little bit. Um, Coleus always told me that nature usually helps cheer him up. So, maybe I should give that a try. I know I came to Earth on a mission for my father, but what if I don't want to go back to Tartarus? What if I'm happy here? I mean, look at this place. It's so green and bright. Everything's alive. I'm not trapped in a cage. It's so open. 
I'm free to do whatever I want. For once in my life, I think I've actually found it. Joy. I don't know if I'm ready for my father to take that away from me again. message for you from your father. Oh, uh, what is it? The mission is taking too long. Why are you not back yet? I, I, uh, I will be back soon. I haven't been able to find them yet. I'm sorry. What is taking you so long? I got a little sidetracked. I met some people and... Don't tell me you are making friends. Um, no, I, um, I'm just trying to blend in so I can retrieve the target. You will capture the target and be back soon. Do you understand? Yes, Father. I understand. Don't make me regret sending you on this mission. Sitting here in sorrow, yeah, I just feel hollow Wanna be wanted, but I'm locked in a cage Hate to be hated, but I'm pushing the wave I've got a tendency to just push everyone away Lost my ability to trust, cause you set my stage But I'm still trapped in the darkness, blinded by the haze Grew up and did the mantle, shut up and behave Live up to your expectations, but you should never engage I can't build my path, if you're latched onto my life Can't see the real world when it's hidden under your spite I tried to love you, it's true, but I can't live this way a puzzle with pieces that have all lost their shape the search for the corners before the walls all cave feels like i'm on a timer and i'm just destined to break a chance for new life that i'm with too afraid to take scared to part with this familiar dna i can't imagine a life if i live it so tragic i say is it enough please stop i've had it but you lied said it's fine watch me cross that line i can't help that my brain is your design Circles feels like I'm stuck in a maze. I wanna help build this world, but you wanna set it ablaze. These people here, they don't look at me different. But when I'm home with you, the world is so damn belligerent. Always have to focus, always have to be so vigilant. Never signed up for this life, don't wanna be a participant. Don't want the world against them because they're all so innocent. But you're blinded by a mask that's made you oh so ignorant. I can't imagine a life if they live it so tragic. I say, is it enough? Please. Up, they've had it, but you lied, said it's fine Watch me cross that line I can't help that my brain is your design Before the walls all cave Feels like I'm on a timer And I'm just destined to break A chance for new life That I'm with too afraid to take Scared to part with this familiar DNA I can't imagine a life If I live it so tragic I say is it enough please Stop I've had it But you lied said it's fine Watch me cross that line I can't help that my brain Is your design
What a horrible day. While everyone's out and enjoying themselves at that dance. I've been stuck inside all day contemplating what I'm supposed to do. I can't play around anymore. I'm done playing games. I need to find my target. But... No. No. Soren, that's stupid. You need to start thinking clearly. But... You're powerful. You have powerful allies here at this camp. Powerful allies that could help you. All you have to do is reach out to them and... No. No, this is my father we're talking about. Typhon. He's the most ruthless monster to ever live. Not to mention, one of the most powerful beings to ever step foot in any of the realms. He's not someone I or anyone else could just defeat. <sighs> okay. I need more time to think. More time to clear my head.
got to be around here somewhere. I totally just misplaced it. Um, I was here in the garden with Mario the other day. Okay. Uh, Lauren, hey, I, I'm sorry. I just, I really don't have the time. I, I've, I've got, got a lot going on. Uh, what, uh, what? You should be at the ball enjoying your night. What? What's what's wrong? What happened? Uh, you, you, you know the I have the, the I have Delphine, right? Yeah. I gave it to you so you could talk to the Oracle the other day. Well, after you gave it back, I guess I misplaced it, and well, I I gave it to Nick the other day. I, I, I don't know. I, it's gone. I, I don't have it, and I always have it on me. So it's gone. I don't, yeah, I I don't know where it could have possibly went. Do you think I you always have it on me? Dropped it, or do you think someone took it? I I don't know. I I only considered that I probably misplaced it, but uh, what if someone did take it? Oh, this is like a rerun of last year all over again. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't even know where to start to look. I've I've flown everywhere. I've been on Diabol. I, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I mean, is there anyone in camp that you think would take it? or? No. It's, it's not possible. I mean, there have been a couple of people that have wanted to talk to the Oracle. Nick wanted to talk to the Oracle, like I said, but I couldn't give him a prophecy anyway because he's Nordic, or so we think, because he's a, from a different realm. I don't know, that was complicated, and, well, I guess Cassie wanted to talk to the Oracle, and I, but no, we, we made up. We hugged. It couldn't have been her. It couldn't have been I Cassie. Just... I had a conversation with her the other day about the Oracle, actually. I was actually supposed to ask really? you if I could borrow it for her, but I never got the chance to. But I don't think that she'd do something like that, because, I mean... No, I, I don't think so either. If she wanted it back then, she would have gone out of her way to steal it then, and she wouldn't have talked to me about it, so... Exactly. So I'm just confused. I I guess I could have left it somewhere? I... Yeah. I don't know. But... Wait... What? Lauren? Oh no. It's back. Back. Um, I haven't seen it for a couple of days. Are, are you kidding me? Now? Yeah. Now's the time you come back? I mean, I think it may be a little convenient that it's showing up now at the same time that the Eye of Delphine is gone. Do you think Wait. the shadow figure has something to do with it? I mean, it all makes okay. sense. It does all make sense. If if it's been following me this whole time, maybe it maybe it was after the eye. Maybe it's after the oracle. I I don't know. That 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 makes total sense. That that's the only possibility, right? I mean, it makes sense to me. I can't see anyone in, in camp trying to go after it. I mean, this yeah. thing has been stalking you all week. Um, I mean, I think now would be the chance to go after it. You have me here. I'll go with you. We can go you know what? talk to it and get the eye back. You're right. You're right. I, I need to just buckle down and, and do this. Uh, okay, uh, let's go after it. Uh, but just give me a few minutes to grab some things. I don't know how long we're going to be gone. All right. Uh, but, yeah, no. We're, we're going after it, and we're going to get the eye of Delphine back. All right. All right. I'm going to go back okay. to my cabin as well and get my stuff, but... Meet me at maybe the cafeteria and. Yeah, meet me uh, at the cafeteria in 20 minutes. Okay. Um, I'll see you there. The mission is taking too long. Why are you not back yet? I, uh, I'll be back soon. I got a little sidetracked. Are you kidding me? I now? Now's the time you come back? Don't tell me you are making friends. Um, no, I... Okay, um, um, let's go after it. And be back soon. 
Do you understand? Yes, no, Father. We're, we're going after it. I and understand. We're going to get Don't the I.M. Delphine back. Sending you on this mission. Meet me uh, at the cafeteria in 20 minutes. I made up my mind. I need to help Kay. Hey? Soren, hey. What, what took you so long? I've been waiting here for a couple minutes. Just, come on. I'm surprised it's only been a couple of minutes. Um, well, I went to my cabin and Mario stopped me and then Zylo appeared in my office and was badly hurt. So I had to tend to him for a second. But uh, I, I'm here now. Oh, are they? So. Are, are they okay? Are you? Is everything good? Uh, it, he wasn't okay, but he will be. Um, okay. Hopefully, the camp will be, from the looks of everything, but I can't worry about that now. Are you uh, ready? Yeah, um, we should probably go back over to where we saw it last. I think it was yeah. back over this way. Come That's on. a good idea. Let's go. Well, it doesn't look like it's still here. No, it doesn't. I think it hmm. maybe left something behind. Maybe. It hasn't in the past, but yeah, I guess but... it's useful to check. I don't know why it would take off now, of all times. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it's just been taunting me this whole time. Same, but I don't know. I want to hope that these random appearances from it aren't just to taunt you, but... Maybe trying to show you something, but I don't know. It just Maybe. keeps showing up and then disappearing again. It's weird. It's creepy. Then again, why would it just take the eye and then show up? If it wanted the eye, it has what it wants. It can talk to the oracle. It could steal it for all I know. But yeah, it's... that's true. <gasps> okay. Listen, I'm done with you. I just, I want this to be over. Give the eye back. And if you don't, we're... We're gonna have to take it. Yeah. There's two of us. There's only one of you. It's time to give up the act. Just give us the eye back. Oh. No. Come serious? back here. Listen. I don't want to fight probably any more than you do, but... Just give the eye back. Come on, Kay. This is the time. Let's just go get it. Horn. What? Wait. It... It doesn't want us to fight it. Are you sure? I... I think it wants us... to follow it. To... F follow it? Wait. Yeah. Come on, Kay. Let's go after it. We can't let it go away again. All right.
Well, we lost it. Do you think it ran away again? I, I don't think so. I think we're exactly where it wanted us to be. What is this place? I'm not sure. You know who Poseidon is, do you, or do you? No, I don't. Who is that? Um, the man standing on top of the fountain? Yeah, looks a lot like him. Huh. What's this? This is say? huge. Yeah. Wow. Greek mythology. Mm, museum? Do you, do you know what a museum is? No, I've never heard of it. A museum? Museum? I'm not sure. Either way, it says Greek mythology, which is, well, us, I, I guess. Uh, uh, is this like some sort of whole building dedicated to it? or? <laughs> it, it seems that way, but that's a little weird, don't you think? Yeah. Well, um, do you think this is what the shadow wanted us to find? I think so. I, I'm i not exactly sure why, um, but I suppose we could go in and find out. Yeah, for sure. Here, let's just... Uh, wait, Soren! No, 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 no! Yeah. <laughs> wait! Um, What's see wrong? the sign, right? Um, well, uh, it's... So sorry... We're clo clo claws closed. They're 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 closed. Um, it's it is the middle of the night. Uh, we don't want to trigger the alarms or something. Oh um, yeah, right. And oh, think about that. Yeah, Sorry. we're gonna have to find another way in. Um, any ideas? Um, I don't know. Is there maybe like some sort of back door or? Something maybe on the roof? Uh, I guess it's worth the check. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Um, well. Whoa. What's this? Looks like a vent. Uh, probably our best guess of a way in without triggering the alarms. Yeah, um, I hope. We're just gonna have to be really careful. We don't know if there's a security guard or something on the launch. Yeah. Alright, I'll go first. Okay. Um. Um. It seems... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's dark in here, but it seems safe. You're good. I'll go down again. Alright. <gasps> we'll just there's... have to remember what. There's light at the bottom. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, this leads inside. Okay, Whoa. Shh. be careful. We don't want someone to find us. What is this place? Um, not too sure. Uh, there's more statues, it looks like. It doesn't... Greek god Hades. Wow. Huh. So that's Xylo's father? Uh, Zeus? Um, he's actually my... I, I don't even technically know. Mario's dad. Yeah. So almost like father-in-law, I guess. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Poseidon, like we saw outside. This is really weird. I, I've never seen anything like this before. It's insane. I mean, I've seen statues of, you know creatures and monsters before, but I didn't know that they made shrines of people and different gods and goddesses. Yeah, is that what you think these all are? Shrines? It looks like it. I mean, I don't know what else these would be. Uh, shrines to skulls? This, this doesn't make any sense. All these paintings, it looks almost like an exhibit or something. I... Yeah. But, like, things from our world. This is crazy. Yeah. 
But what's what's crazier is why would the shadow figure lead us here? I don't know. I mean, clearly there must be something pretty important here if it probably wants us to find something or maybe there's like a painting or some exhibit in here that has something. Maybe there's a naga, a siren. All this stuff is crazy. Thanks. Does any of this mean anything to you? Not specifically. I mean, look at all these skulls. Huh. It's kind of morbid, to be honest. Yeah. Do you it think these really skulls is. are real? I mean, they um, look pretty it... real, but I can't imagine killing something and putting it on display. <laughs> well... I mean, that, I, I've seen it done before, if I'm honest, but it's almost like it's someone's collection. Yeah. It is strange. It's, yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. Well, there's more over here. Wow. Huh. I wonder who all these people are. It's hard to say. Look at these could... paintings. They're huge. Yeah. Wow. Some crazy artwork. I wonder who made these. I don't know. There has to be something behind all of this. Yeah. Um. Whoa, look at this one. Whoa. Huh. Uh, it's... It should... Echidna. A, a, a echidna. Oh. I I heard a bit about her before, I I think. Really? Uh yeah. Look at all the skulls around her. <laughs> yeah, from what I hear she wasn't someone that you wanted to mess with. Really? Um Wait. What? Soren, look. Whoa, it's... is that? The oracle? What is this place? This is Delphine. Um uh, I I I I know a bit about her. Um she actually guarded the oracle before I did. Oh really? Did yeah. she, like, entrust you with it? Or... Um... Not... Exactly. Uh, she didn't really have a choice in the matter, but... Huh. I... Like to think I carry on her legacy to... Well, an extent. Um... Not... Everything, of course. But... Yeah. The Oracle of Delphi... Why is it here? It looks almost like the other one. Almost exactly. It looks just like it. If I weren't mistaken, I would really think this is the real thing. Me too. Maybe that's why it brought us here? To show me a shrine of my, my, my uh, Delphine and the, the Oracle? Maybe. I mean, it's... I don't know, it all seems too weird. Like, the Oracle's back at camp, so... I feel like there right. has to be something else here that it's trying to show us that we're just not seeing. Maybe it's threatening to take the Oracle and bring it to this place, so anyone can use it, but that doesn't make sense. And also, in all the stories, it's usually just Delphine and the Oracle... I don't know what this guy is doing here, and oh. he's kind of scary, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, um, this is, um, I actually do know who this one is. Oh, do, do you? Yeah, um, this is Typhon. Um, okay. Yeah? I... I think it's time I finally told you something. Okay. 
I haven't been completely honest with you. It's impressive that you made it out of the pit. But that doesn't qualify you to make demands at me, boy! Please, just let me prove myself to you. I've lived my entire life wanting to live up to your expectations. You have to let me try. a special mission that someone with your appearance would benefit greatly. I can do it. What do you mean by my appearance? This mission will require you to travel to the Earth Realm. There is someone I am seeking. Earth Realm? Creatures in Earthrealm have a much different appearance than us down in Tartarus. More... human. Of course. That's why I would be so perfect for this mission. You can count on me, Father. I promise. Fail me, and you will wish could spend the rest of your useless life in the pit. I... I won't fail you. So... Who exactly am I looking for? Soren, what did you just do? Now what are you going to tell her? The truth? I mean... I can't. It's... it's too dangerous. But... I trust her. I really should tell her, but... maybe not... all of the truth. Okay. Quick, I have to make something up. Uh, the Oracle. That's perfect. <sighs> I'm so sorry that it has to be this way, Kay. But I just can't risk putting you in jeopardy with this secret. Okay. Here we go. It's... Okay, Soren, you... You can tell me anything. You know that, right? Yeah, um... So, that statue down there, as I was saying... That's... Typhon. He's the father of monsters. But... Right. As I actually found out from the Oracle... He's also... My father. Oh, and I just called him horrifying or a monster. I'm, I'm, no. I'm really sorry. It's, it's okay. I mean, as you can tell, he is definitely a monster um, <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, right. I wasn't too sure what to do with that information once I found out. I mean, well, clearly. Why, why didn't you tell me sooner? I could, I could have helped you uh, research him, or I don't, I don't know, maybe talk to him. That's the thing, though. You might not know much about him, but if word got out around the camp that I was Typhon's son, I don't think it would go over very well. 
he's not exactly known to be a very good or understanding person. Oh, I see. Well, I, I don't blame you for keeping secrets. I mean, clearly here we are in a whatever this place is, and we followed a shadow figure here that my boyfriend just happened to find out about. But, yeah. I don't know. We all have our own secrets, so I can't blame you for hiding yours. And, you know, I didn't know who my father was for the longest time, too, and all I ever wanted, really, was to find him. And... I don't know, talk to him, find out more about him. So I'm sure you're kind of in the same boat, but I can't imagine not knowing how others would react. That's the thing, though. As I've been thinking about it more ever since I talked to the Oracle, I've been getting all these memories and everything. They've been flooding back to me, and I've been remembering my childhood and just been thinking about how terrible it was. I mean... Oh. I grew up in a cage my entire life, and from what I can remember, I ended up breaking out. And the reason I'm here is because my father sent me on some mission, but I don't know what that mission is. It's the only part that I haven't figured out yet. And I don't know what to do with that because I know that my father isn't a good man, so I can't imagine that what I'm here for is for anything good either, but I don't have any hate in my heart. I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to harm others, so I can't imagine that I was sent here to do something, I guess, evil. But... Well, you're not a bad person by any means, and I don't think you have an evil bone in your body. And just because your parents or your dad has that side of them, that doesn't mean that you have to carry that over. And I'm really sorry to hear how your childhood played out. I can't imagine trying to grow up in a cage. And the fact that you're still here now and you are a good person, that's, that's incredible. I hope you realize that. Thank you, Kay. That's actually really nice to hear. Of course. But don't think that just because your dad has this mission for you that you have to carry it out. I mean, maybe find out what it is first. Because you never know, maybe he's turning over a new leaf. Who am I to judge? But I don't know. Just because uh, he says that you have to do a certain something doesn't mean that you have to. Right? Absolutely. You know, I really yeah. appreciate being able to talk to you about these kinds of things. When I first got to the camp, and you were the first person that I saw, it felt nice seeing another person that had, you know, horns and wings. <laughs> I didn't feel yeah. too out of place. I mean, we seem to be pretty different than a lot of the people at the camp, but it's okay, because yeah. I know you're a great person, so. Yeah. If I'm honest, from... The moment you fell out of that portal or whatever it was, I have to say, I felt a connection to you, so. Me too. I don't know. Maybe Typhon has something to do with the Oracle or something, and maybe there's a, a tie to us somewhere along those lines. I, I don't know. You know there... how Greek mythology is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would definitely be interesting. Yeah. But... I don't know. I'm glad to be someone here that you can confide in, and you know you can always talk to me about anything. Thank you, Kay. That really means a lot. And know that you can always talk to me about anything as well. One yeah. thing that I did really quickly want to mention, though, is I know that you and Mario are kind of a thing. Um, right. One big thing about Typhon is he and... Zeus don't exactly like each other. Um, he's actually the one who banned Typhon to Tartarus. Um, really? So that's where he is. Um, well, 
If it's any consolation, I'm pretty sure Zeus played a hand in uh, getting my father sent to the underworld as well. Um, really? He was rescued, but yeah. So, I I'm sorry that your father's still down there, but... That's I mean, okay. from what you say about him, maybe it's for the best. I I'm not really one to judge, but I don't know. A lot of the gods and, you know, those type of people, they all have their differences. And can't say that a, a lot of them like each other, but I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, for but. sure. I just hope that if Mario did find out that I was the son of Typhon, he wouldn't hold it against me. <laughs> you can let me handle him. I promise. He's not going to do anything to you. Okay. Thanks again, Kay, for everything. Of course. Always. Anyways. We should probably figure out why we're here. Uh, yeah, for sure. I don't um, know about you, but I kind of want to head back to camp sooner rather than later. Yeah, we have been gone quite a while. Yeah. I don't know, though. I can't figure out why the shadow figure would have brought us here. I don't know. I thought that it might have had something to do with, you know, the Delphine Oracle and Typhon statues, but that just seems to be a somewhat odd coincidence. Yeah, for sure. More heads down here. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm. It's still so weird. <laughs> I, I don't quite understand this place. Yeah. What all these things are. Oh, these ones look so... Here lifelike they they really do the other ones were never like seen any of these before stone statues but these ones i don't know what about them is different but <laughs> they yeah seem a lot more lifelike than the others no you're you're definitely right on that one you don't think they like <laughs> somehow took creatures and froze them in place or i don't know i don't know I'm clearly not that's not sure. the case because the Oracle was very lifelike, and clearly it's not the same one. That's... that's true. Speaking of, I really need to figure out how to get that eye back from that shadow figure. Yeah. I hope this isn't like a game it's making us play. That would be horrible. Oh. Hmm. This is pretty cool, though. It is. You don't normally get to see this sort of stuff. Hmm. All these temples. This is crazy. Almost like it's out of a history book or something, don't you think? Yeah. But why would the shadow figure lead us here? I don't know. Oh, what are to these? Have a... He's just like full uh, exhibits? A uh, hippocampus. Wow. What's this thing? Uh, cockatrice, cockatrice, cockatrice. Cockatrice. Yeah, I never knew how to say that word. If I'm at all honest. Um, actually, funny story. When uh, I don't know if you've met my horse Diabol, but one time I went on a trip with uh, Ryan, the son of Aphrodite, and we got attacked by a bunch of those. This one's much smaller than they are in real life, but really. They're not fun to deal with, <laughs> let me tell you. I saw something that looked kind of similar to this back at camp. It was white, and it didn't have a tail. It was a lot <laughs> smaller than this one, actually. And it seemed pretty friendly, but this one, this one yeah. doesn't seem too friendly. <laughs> no. Maybe their replicas are a little bit off. Let's see. Look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> this thing is huge. Yeah. Uh... Hy Hydra? Hydra, yeah. Wow. Um, warning, life-size replica, don't touch the glass. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> I've actually been uh, compared to this lady once or twice in my life. <laughs> I mean, why would you be compared to this lady? Um... I, uh, similar personalities, I, I guess. Oh. Um, yeah, I, that... that must be it. I, I, I you know, the, the, the way we look, it's not very similar. 
Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> this place is so cool. Yeah, it really is. Did did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like glass shattering. Glass shattering. Here. Uh, come on. Okay. Hello? Um shadow figure? <laughs> is someone um, here? Are you out there? I hope it's not like a security guard or something. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be screaming. <laughs> Maybe not. What's this room? Whoa. recognize some of these paintings um you do yeah remember my office oh yeah uh, the staff of asclepius this <laughs> must be him your whoa dad yeah uh that that's him i wow. didn't think that there was going to be a whole room here dedicated to him, but yeah, this is almost the same painting that I have. And the the staff or a replica of it. I don't think it's the real one by any means, but that's what it looks like. A piece of wood with a snake around it. That's so cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Never gotten to see it in person. I imagine he has it where wherever he is. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it said that, I don't know, with this staff, it has super, super great healing powers that it can even bring people back from the dead. Wow, really? Yeah. That's insane. Mm hmm. And over here, that must be Chiron, if I'm not mistaken. He is a centaur, obviously. Um,. Apollo, my grandpa, sent my dad to Chiron, and Chiron basically taught him everything he knows. And he became super powerful, even more powerful than Chiron, more powerful than Apollo, and <laughs> pretty impressive for a demigod. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. What Wanted to give to me any of them. Yeah. What is what? What is this page? It looks like it's ripped out of a book or something. Oh. The glass is broken. That must be what we heard shatter earlier. Oh, yeah. Wait. You don't think... Is that the book that you carry around? Do you think... Yeah. No, the book of Asclepius. I, I've read it page to page, cover to cover, and I never found out the whereabouts of my dad. Do I wonder you if. I think this could this... be a missing page from it? It might. It would make sense. There's a whole room here seeming to be dedicated to him. This must be it. 
This is what the shadow figure wanted us to find. This has to be. Well, I guess I have to read it. Yeah, yeah. You think you know my story so far. But you don't know it all yet. No one does. Except for me. My childhood was torture in the pits of hell. Literally. But I'm getting carried away with myself. Let me start at the beginning. My father, Typhon, also known as the father of monsters, or even the dictator of Tartarus. When Zeus banished him here, he immediately claimed Tartarus as his own territory, taking in anyone who would obey him and eradicating anyone who defied him. I've only heard stories from others down in the cages, but it was said that when Typhon came to Tartarus, he cast aside the old ruler from power and forced her to marry him. Again, I've only heard legends, but she was said to have been strict, but sweet. She treated her children with respect, but knew how to be venomous when she needed to be. Tartarus changed that day and not for the better. Eventually, Typhon found out about a sacred land known as the Creation Pit. The prior ruler's way of creating and giving life to her children. She knew how powerful of a place this was and did her best to keep Typhon away from it, knowing that if it fell into his hands, it would bestow doom to the land. Typhon took his advantage, and each day created a new monster to join an army to take his revenge on Zeus. But that isn't even the sickest part. He would make these monsters, his own children, fight for mercy in an arena.
some even fought to their death. The strong prospered. But the weak creatures that weren't slaughtered were sent down beneath the creation pit and kept in cages. I don't know how it happened still, but one day, I was one of the creatures my father had created. Time for a new champion. You, child, will be the strongest of my children yet. What is this? A puny human? Disgusting. You can't possibly be my child. Your name will be Soren. But no one will ever know that you exist. The look on his face when I appeared before him was terrible. He told me right then and there that I couldn't possibly be his son. How could I, a half-monster, half-human, have been created? It's something I've struggled to figure out my entire life. And trust me, I've had a lot of time to think about it. Though he was hesitant to even let me try, my father stuck me in the arena and forced me to challenge my stronger brothers and sisters. As you can imagine, I didn't exactly impress him. So I was sent to live the rest of my life in the pit. You are my biggest disappointment by far. Be gone. I banish you to an eternity in the pit. May it be horrendous and vile. Get out of my sight. I felt so hopeless and alone. Every day I would see new creatures shoved into nearby cages.
And every once in a while when I woke up, handfuls of them would just be gone completely. Knowing what I know now, I can only imagine that he sacrificed them, giving him the power he needed to astrally project himself to another planet. Mercury. If my father is trapped in Tartarus, then who is this... Ricaro? And why does he say that he too was raised by my father? The answer you are seeking is centuries in the past. Show me. Please. I need to know. Typhon is cruel. He seeks power and destruction. A long time ago, your father learned of a powerful land and made an even more powerful ally, Set, the Egyptian god of chaos and storms. Unfortunately, the plan they made was never fulfilled because Zeus caught wind of what was going on and banished Typhon to the pits of Tartarus for his crimes. Zeus could now have peace, knowing that the Titan was gone for good. But what Zeus didn't know is that Set gave Typhon a secret weapon. Though he was trapped in Tartarus, he was able to astrally project himself to wherever Set needed him to be, taking on a new form completely. Set used Typhon as a weapon for many centuries, but he was ultimately defeated by Horus. Set was still in need of Typhon's help, as he had a plan brewing for the future. Your stepbrother, Ricaro, was raised by the astral form of Typhon on the planet Mercury. He visited him frequently, and for long periods of time, often forgetting about his place in Tartarus. Him and Ricaro had a special connection. He was devastated the day he had to send him to Earth. That's insane. A special bond? My father hated me. Ricaro must be powerful or he would have never had an interest in him in the first place. My father seeks nothing but power. He has to be planning something big. I sense anger. What do I do? What is he planning? This life will lead you on many paths. Find the truth you are seeking. Thank you, Oracle. There he met the Egyptian god Set and his son, a young boy named Rikaro. And though he wasn't my father's creation, they had a better bond than me or my monster siblings. That wouldn't make any sense, though. Because Typhon's still back home on Mercury. I'm sorry. Wh what did you just say? My pops, Typhon. He's back on the planet Mercury. In fact, that's actually where I came from. One day, he decided it was time for me to get sent here, to Earth. And... Soren? Hello? He must have really seen something incredible in him. Send me I'm off so to. sorry, Ricaro. It, it was great meeting you, but I have to get going. I'll see you around. Oh. Alright. See you around. Well, you know the story from here. I adapted, broke out of the pit, 
and my father sent me on this super secret mission to capture some lady that... Oh, yeah, the mission. I almost forgot about it again. But I can't focus on that right now, though. Attention needs to be going to help Kay figure out the mystery of this page we found. I sure hope this doesn't lead us down a dangerous path. Hades, the god of the underworld, was especially angry. He wanted souls entering his kingdom, but with Asclepius healing people, fewer and fewer died, with fewer and fewer souls to welcome into the underworld. Hades decided to talk to his brother Zeus, who was the head god, to kill Asclepius. But they ended up making an agreement to rid him of his power for good, without ending his life. They sent him to the Earth Realm, where he must reside amongst mortals for the entirety of his days. The Earth Realm? Isn't yeah. that where we are now? Um, I'm not sure, but I mean, it makes sense. This is a type of building that would probably be in the Earth Realm. Yeah. This is crazy. That means... My dad is alive, just like I thought, and he's in the Earth Realm. Well, I mean, we're already here. Do you, do you want to go look for him? You know? Oh, I, I don't think it's that simple, Soren. I wish it was. I want to find him more than anything, but the Earth Realm is, is huge. I, I don't even think I'd know where to begin looking. But this is a good piece of information. I can, I can definitely do something with this. Yeah, for sure. Do you yeah. think maybe you can get some more information back at camp somehow? Probably. 
I mean, every time I've talked to the Oracle about Asclepius in the past, she just doesn't have an answer for me, but this is why. She was reading the wrong realm, I guess, maybe. So maybe if I clarify, if I tell her that Asclepius is in the Earth realm, I he might even be going by a different name. I, I don't know, but she might have more information for me this time. So yeah, that's a great idea. All I have to do is talk to the Oracle. Uh, yeah, well, that sounds great in theory, but I guess since we figured out why the shadow figure led us here, it also didn't have the eye of Delphine either. You're right. I almost forgot about that. It's weird because I was so sure that the shadow figure stole the eye, but... If this is why it brought us here, if it wanted me to find the missing page of the Book of Asclepius so I could find my dad, it, it couldn't have been it, right? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I mean, it makes the most sense for the shadow figure to have it. That thing's been stalking you for a while now. I guess, and that's what I thought. I, th I thought it was stalking me, and I thought it had ill intent, but this is an answer that I've been looking for for so long, Soren. And if it led us here, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how it knows, how it knows me, how it knows Asclepius is my dad, how it knew that the page of the book was here, but it must be helping me, right? I mean, it seems that way. Maybe someone or something sent it here to look over you. Maybe. So maybe all this time I... I had the wrong idea about it. Still be nice to know who it was so I could properly thank them, but... Yeah. I suppose that's something I can worry about in the future since it... seems to be long gone now. Who knows, though? Maybe at some point it'll come back. Yeah, but... I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But for now, I, I have my answers, and I know what I have to do next, and... I'm, I'm gonna find my dad. I'm so um, excited for you, Kay. That's incredible. Thank you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to want to go with me, would you? I mean, we kind of made a great team finding this place and exploring together. You're right. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind going with you. There's not really anything else at camp that I've really been up to. Perfect. So... I guess let's head back to camp for now, get everything uh, under control there, and hopefully get some information from the Oracle, and we can be on our way. Alright, sounds good. Okay. camp. That was quite the journey we had. It really is awful that Kay wasn't able to find the Eye of Delphine, though. But at least she found the missing page in her book. It's nice to think that maybe the shadow figure hasn't been stalking her all this time, but instead was just trying to help her. It was also nice to finally be able to get my true feelings out of the way. Sort of. I mean, I still hate that I couldn't tell her everything, but how could I do that to her? How could I put her life at risk in the sake of maybe being able to help me? That's just not fair to her or anyone else here at camp. Speaking of, I wonder if she's going to talk to Mario about me. And if she does, I sure hope it goes well. I can't risk everyone here at camp hating me as much as my father is going to once he finds out that I don't want to do a stupid mission. <sighs> it's okay, though. I'm just overthinking. 
That's it. I need to get some rest. It's been a long night. And can I, Kay and I have yet another journey ahead of us soon. I thought that this camp was the actual Earth Realm, but turns out that my first real experience in a place where real mortals live was that weird building with the creepy statues and paintings. <laughs> Still gives me the chills when I think about it. But I can't believe it. She's going to take me into the real world to see real people. I'm so excited. Okay, Soren, calm down. You just need to get some rest. you ah! and ugly. I thought I knew what I wanted before I came here. I had something. Everything to prove to my father. But I see the truth now. What are you babbling on about? I don't need to prove anything to him. And never will. I like it here. I felt more at home the time I've been on Earth than my entire childhood locked in that pit. won't go back. Then you will die. Do you truly think your pesky flames will harm me? I was born in flames, straight from the pits of Tartarus.
What the hell was that? Poison? How did I... How did I do that? I mean, I know that I'm part monster, but... Neither Typhon nor any of his creations are able to possess... Poison? What makes me different? The fact that I'm half human? No, that can't be it. Humans don't possess powers at all. So, where did I get this from? And, oh no, my father, he sent another goon after me, but this time to deliver me back to him in Tartarus. He's angry. And the fact that I just killed that creature only means he's going to be more angry. I don't even want to think about what he's going to do when his messenger never returns. He'll know something's up. What do I do? I know he isn't going to stop sending them until I'm dead. Or worse. Back in the pit. Oh no. In my cabin. I forgot that it was destroyed. Oh god. I don't know what to do. I can't keep this all a secret anymore. But... I still can't risk getting anyone else sucked into this mess. Please. Someone help me. This, this is so horrible. I don't think things could be any worse than they are now. What is this power that I possess? And will I be able to control it? I don't know. I didn't even know that I had it up until this point. Is it from my father? It can't be. Typhon possesses almost limitless power, but poison is not something that he controls. Which begs the question, whose power is it to control besides mine? Whatever it is, or whoever, it's strong. I've never felt power like that before. It's almost like something came over me completely. I was able to completely destroy my father's creation with it. Which, I guess, is a good thing if I can protect myself with it. But, it's so scary. Being that powerful. And not knowing if you have enough control over it to not hurt your friends. It's a blessing and a curse, I guess. <sighs> okay, I need to get to the bottom of this. But first, I need to try to pick up my cabin a bit. It's on fire and right in the middle of camp. I don't need anyone else asking questions.
Oh my god. This is even worse than I thought it was. How am I gonna fix this? I'm just gonna have to put out the fires and maybe try to put the walls back together the best I can? Oh, please. Nobody ask any questions. There's so much fire. At least it didn't spread to the rest of the camp. That could have been bad. I guess, to be fair, I haven't seen anyone in this part of the camp for quite a while now. Hmm. I guess everyone's off doing their own stuff. And right when I was finally beginning to make some new friends. I guess it's for the best, though. I mean... Kay is a great friend, but I still feel so terrible even thinking about getting her dragged into all of this craziness. Like I said before, a blessing and a curse. No, I can't make friends. Not while Typhon is still alive. Not while he's hunting me down. Why can't life just be easier? I never asked for any of this. I just want to stay here at Camp Oasis and finally, for once in my life, be able to truly open myself up to people. But... No. It's too dangerous for that. I'm too dangerous. Typhon, there's been a situation. Your son, Soren, he's killed the scouts you sent after him. <gasps> Is there something you want me to do? I... I can send more. I can put together an army of soldiers. I can... No, that's quite alright. I've no choice but to force my hand. Soren, you will carry out the mission. And I will make sure of it.
trying to talk to me? Soren, you've done well. Whoa, whoa, I'm so sorry. I think I'm losing it. What are you? Who are you? You don't know me yet, but I surely know you. You know me? Well, I can sense that this small creature isn't your true form. You are something much more powerful. And I don't know what it is, but I feel this strange connection to you. Are you the reason I have this power now? You've had this power all this time. Looks like you just needed a life or death situation to finally bring it forth. So, it was you. You knew about this. About me. Please, tell me more about you. I have so many questions. Who are you? Why are you here? How do you- All of your questions will be answered soon. But please, stay safe and be aware of who you trust. Tython is angry. It will stop at nothing to end you. Wait, Typhon? Are you there with him? Wait, no, no, please come back. What the hell was that? Who was that? Was that actually someone trying to send me a warning from Tartarus? No. There's no way. Everyone there is a loyal servant to Typhon. They wouldn't dare betray him. Maybe... Was that actually Typhon just trying to trick me? Trying to get in my head? If so... It's definitely working. Either way, this just got so much worse. Whether or not that actually was my father. The warning said that Typhon isn't going to stop until I'm dead. What do I do? I can only hold off so many of the scouts that he sends. Do I listen to the warning? I mean, I want to, but... What if it's fake? What if it's just trying to trick me? All of my questions will be answered soon? What does that mean? And be careful who I trust? They surely can't be talking about someone at camp, right? They can't. But what if they are? What do I do? I can't even think clearly right now. But one thing is for sure. I'm not safe here. Or, or anywhere. Typhon is coming for me.
All right. That's better. Uh, sort of. I mean, it's a little janky, but there's not really much I can do. I don't really have the materials to build this place back up completely how it was. Besides, I'm not that talented to be able to do something like that either. But, I mean, I definitely can't be the only person that's had their cabinet camp blown up, right? No. That... that's insane, Soren. That's... why are you even thinking that? Whatever. The cabin is not important right now, though. What's important is figuring out my next move. First, my father sends one of his goons after me, and I kill it only to discover that I have some mysterious poison powers that I never knew existed. Then, out of the blue, a talking snake shows up and tells me that not only does it know who I am, but it's also the source of the mysterious power. <sighs> what even is my life anymore? But the snake also said that it was in Tartaros, which connects it to my father somehow, right? Yeah, that's the only thing that could make sense. I mean, I still don't understand how or why someone would, would be warning me about a potential attack from Typhon, but I can't take that lightly. Anyone who would risk their own life or sanity to get this message to me? They must mean serious business. <sighs> I need to train and figure out how to master these powers. Like I said before, I'm strong, and these new poison powers are just a testament to my strength. But I'm nothing if I can't control it. I can't let this power take control over me. I mean, who knows what I might do? <sighs> Why can't I just be a human? A full human. I mean, it sure would, sure would make a life a lot simpler. But either way, blessing or, cor or curse, I was born with these powers. Part monster. I need to own it and stop being so ashamed of it, but I don't know. Being here makes it all feel so much more real, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Being surrounded by humans, well, sort of. I mean, definitely more human-like creatures than there were down in Tartarus, that's for sure. It makes me feel like I stand out more than I should, and not in a good way. I mean, there's a reason I was only able to make a couple of friends here, and the ones I did make have up and vanished. But I hope I didn't have anything to do with that. I mean, at least I have Kay, but she's just like me. Um, sort of. I mean, she has wings and horns, too. I still find it so strange how much of a connection I feel with her. I've never met anyone like her in my life. But, okay, Soren, you're getting distracted. You have training to do. Typhon is coming for you. With everything he's got. And you need to be ready for him. mistaken, I believe somewhere over here in camp there's... Yes! Over here! A little training area. I mean, it's not the best, but maybe I'll be able to at least practice my skills here a little bit. I mean, we got these targets here. Like, I'd rather use it on something like those instead of actual people. I mean, to be fair, this is the Abyssal. 
the most powerful weapon in Tartarus. I mean, I still can't believe that I'm in possession of it. And I can't believe my father actually trusted me to take it here. I don't know. Something about that just seems off. It almost just feels like maybe this isn't the most powerful weapon. But I mean, I've seen firsthand what it could do. I mean, I was able to completely obliterate one of his monsters that he sent after me with it. It exploded into thin air. I mean, whether or not it's actually the most powerful weapon in Tartarus, it's definitely still a very powerful weapon. Okay, well, here we go. Huh. Huh. Well, I know my fire works, but I don't know how to tap into that poison power. I mean, it's like the snake said, it was a life or death situation that kind of brought it out of me, but I don't know how to bring that back. I mean, I don't want to put my life in danger just to maybe have a chance to bring it back. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could do fire all day long, but... I don't know how to bring back this poison. I know I'm powerful, and I know it's inside of me, but... Come on, Soren, just concentrate. No, it's still just flames. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not strong enough, or I can't concentrate hard enough to be able to use it by free will. That would suck if I have to be just in a life or death situation to be able to harness this power. Maybe I'm not as strong as I think I am. I don't know. Thought I could do this, thought I was strong Thought I could overcome the demons, but I was wrong Inside my blood, there's raging fires Can't extinguish them though, cause it's all I've got left to fight with But I just want bliss, I don't wanna cry anymore I overcame my past life, I spelled my demise Laid it all out on the floor for him to hunt me, fight me, drag me down and smite me What am I living for? Hunt me, fight me, drag me down and smite me But you're gonna hear me roar I'm nothing but a monster I've got poison in my veins Fire on my breath All I do is cause others pain Oh, I'm a monster Cause disasters But destruction is not what I'm after Never asked for this life Do everything I can To make things right I don't wanna fight I don't wanna cause issues I'm not alright With this life that I'm forced to live Something's just gonna have to give I overcame my past life, I spelled my demise Laid it all out on the floor For him to hunt me, fight me, drag me down and smite me But you're gonna hear me roar I'm nothing but a monster I've got poison in my veins Fire on my breath All I do is cause others pain no, I'm a I'm a monster Sharp nails 
or are they claws? Razors hinging from my jaw, wish that I could just hide away. Dragon scales across my cheek, wings to sweep me off my feet. All I do is cause others dismay. I'm nothing but a monster. I've got poison in my veins, fire on my breath. All I do is cause others pain. No, oh, I'm a monster. This power that I'm feeling now, it's even greater than before, and I feel way more in control of it now. I mean, I know that I'm down on myself a lot, but I really think that that pep talk helped me understand my true feelings better. I may be a monster, but I can't control that. I can't control the way that I was born, or the fact that Typhon is my father. And even though he may be one of the most powerful and evil beings to live, I won't let that define who I am or who I want to be. I'm Soren, not Typhon. And I'm done letting him dictate my entire life and how I act. I'm here now at Camp Oasis away from him in Tartarus. I'm so lucky to have a chance to finally start over and with people who are similar to me. Well, kind of. I just need to fight off whatever enemy or enemies that Typhon is going to be sending my way and give him a clear message that I won't obey him any longer. I'm done being controlled. It's time for me to live for myself. I really am almost free of this curse. Come on, Typhon. Bring it on. Give me all you got. Typhon, it is complete. The boy has been injected with the venom. this place? Hello? Hello? No. No, 
no, no, no, no, no. No. Am I back in Tartarus? No, it's... it's too... quiet. Am I... dead? <sighs> Never did I think that the afterlife could actually be worse than that pit. But this place... it's horrible. The negative energy radiating through the entire area is just insane. I can literally feel the rage coursing through everything around me. What happened to me? Oh, right. I had just finally been able to tap into those new poison powers and then I arrived back at my cabin, but everything after that just seems fuzzy. I just remember everything going dark, and the next thing I knew, I woke up here, wherever this is. But uh, why is my chest so sore? I feel like I was punctured by something, and no, oh no, the abyssal, it's gone. Oh no, something bad definitely happened to me. And this strange place might be the only clue I have as to figure it out. I should look around. Maybe I can find some answers. What is this place? Some sort of palace? Uh, I just want to understand. What does it all mean? Why am I here? Please, someone help me understand. I don't get it. Uh, okay, Soren, talking and arguing with yourself isn't going to make the situation any better. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hello? Wait. No. Coleus? Coleus? What is this? What happened to you? No, he's, he's dead. What, what is this? What, no, I don't understand. Is this what happened to you? Did something happen to you? Is this where you've been all this time? Oh my gosh, <gasps> wait. Who's this? No, 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 no. Mario? And Ricaro? No. What is this place? What happened to you guys? They're both dead. No. Who did this to you guys? No. No. No, 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 Kay? Oh my gosh, no, oh my god, what, what do I do? Everyone that I know and love is dead before me. Who did this to you guys? Oh, this is terrible. I don't know what to do. 
Christ. Oh, Kay, Kay, please wake up. Kay, please. Who did this to you? I'm gonna find them and. <laughs> what? What was that? What the hell are you? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> what? No, no, I... <laughs> I assume it's painful to face your own dark and gruesome reflection. No. No, Soren, this... this isn't happening. This isn't... How naively you requesting the being standing before you? Oh, don't look so scared. You're a pathetic excuse for Typhon's son. No, no, no. I didn't do this. I couldn't have done this. I wouldn't kill my friends. I wouldn't kill anyone. <laughs> Accept it, Sorin. You did this. We did this. Together. <laughs> you said it yourself. You're nothing but a monster. A cold-blooded killing machine created by the all-powerful Typhon. <laughs> Embrace it. Embrace the darkness. <laughs> no way. Did I do this? No. I couldn't kill my friends. Could I? Hello everyone, and welcome to Camp Oasis. My name is Kay, I am your camp counselor, and I guess, uh, for starters, we can go ahead and all introduce ourselves. Uh, Mario, let's start with you. Oh, uh, <laughs> a lot of new faces here. Um, <laughs> Indeed. Hi, I'm Mario. I'm, a uh, son of Zeus. <laughs> um, yep. Although I don't look like it, apparently, from people tell me. Lee, I am the, I am the son of Persephone. I'm an so, aunt? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I am the prince of the underworld. Uh, oh, sorry, one of, <clears throat> as you may know, my uh, half-brother, Silo. Yeah, hey. nice to meet you all. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Soren. I actually don't know who my parents are, but I'm hoping that maybe at some point I can figure it out. Yeah, this camp, it's a great place to find that out. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, we all did at one point. It's so bright and there's just so much nature and uh, yeah. All this right, time, uh, Coley, you, it's, you came from the underworld too, right? Correct. Uh, Soren here actually just came from the underworld. This is actually his first time oh. on Earth. I know you have been here before, but uh, maybe I've you never could seen help you before. Are you- what part of the Underworld are you from? Um, part of the deeper part of the Underworld, um... Oh, yeah, I don't go down there too often, to be quite honest. Hey, Kay! Oh, sorry, hey! Nice seeing you again. Um, I just wanted to say thank you again for bringing me here and letting me stay here. Well, of course, it, I don't know, it just, just seemed... Right, I guess. You coming in from the underworld, um... Yeah. I know you heard a bit about it earlier. I... I've spent some time myself in the underworld, and... I... I know how it can be down there. 
Whoa, sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, it's okay. I haven't seen you around here yet. Hi, I'm Ricaro. Hi, Ricaro. I'm Soren. It's nice to meet you. Sorry it was like this. It's okay. Cool horns you got there. What are those on your face? Scales? Cool! <laughs> yeah, I guess. Come on, son. Do it. Don't you dare disappoint me again. Father, I know that you and Zeus have bad blood. But I don't think Mario is a bad person. He is the enemy. Get rid of him. Now! so different after all. You belonged in that pit, boy. I never thought something so vile could be my own blood. All bark and no bite, huh? I never should have sent you on this mission. You're going back to the pit. Forever. Stop, please! The mission is taking too long. Why are you not back yet? I... I... Uh, I will be back soon. I haven't been able to find them yet. I'm sorry. What is taking you so long? Sidetracked. I met some people and. Don't tell me you are making friends! Um, no, I. Um, I'm just trying to blend in so I can retrieve the target. You will capture the target and be back soon. Do you understand? Yes, Father. I understand. Don't make me regret sending you on this mission. to the darkness? Did I kill everyone I love? I'm so sorry, everyone. I wish I could have done better. For all of you. For myself. I never wanted things to be like... Th Wait. Myself? The darkness? Calling me a monster? No. This isn't real. None of this is real. 
I don't know how he did it, but somehow Typhon has me fighting my own darkness inside my head. And right now, it's winning. No, I can't let that happen. The time has come. Time to rid you of this light once and for all. After this, you will become me. Pure darkness. Nothing will be able to stop you. <laughs> You dispelled my attack. You aren't even supposed to have powers here. What is happening? You underestimated me and the newfound love I have for my friends in the Earth Realm. I'm not you, and I never will be. No, you stubborn creature. You will meet your end here. We'll see about that. Why are you doing this? You know damn well that this isn't you. It never has been, and it never will be. <laughs> you know just how real I am. You just don't want to face your inner darkness. I know that everyone has their inner demons. But I also know that I'm not filled with this much hate or darkness for the world. Try as hard as you want to pretend that it's not there. But you are the son of Typhon. All you are is darkness. You cannot resist this forever. No. That's not true. I care about the world, and the people in it. I know that Father sent me there on a mission, but as soon as I arrived, I realized I wouldn't be able to do it. The people at Camp Oasis showed me empathy and compassion like I've never seen before. Something that no one down in Tartarus has ever shown me or one another. That's because there is no compassion for anything in Tartarus. It's fueled by hatred and despair. And creatures like us are created with one purpose and one goal in mind. Total chaos and destruction. You may like the way that these people are treating you now, but they will soon see the monster that you truly are. <laughs> Thank you.
No. I'm not evil. <laughs> yes, this rage. I can feel it. You can't control the darkness inside of you. You'll never defeat it. You'll never defeat me! This doesn't end for me here. Not like this. I'm going to kill you. There was so much blood When you cut my skin I was sinking but then I started to swim Watch me rise back up From the smoke and dust You won't hold me down Any longer You could say that I'm broken Maybe I've lost control I've lost hope in my past So I just wanna let it all go Crashing like thunder I'm coming in like a storm There's no way I'm going under I've already been torn Plagued by the darkness But my light has been reborn No, these shadows Won't haunt me anymore Gotta look inside myself Not try to be somebody else Gotta figure this all out Gotta tread these shadows So I don't lose control of my own head No doubt that they'll be back soon But what can I do but try to flush them all out If you try to steal my soul Then you're gonna pay the toll So get ready for the fallout You could say that I'm broken Maybe I've lost control I've lost hope in my past So I just wanna let it all go Crashing like thunder I'm coming in like a storm There's no way I'm going under I've already been torn Plagued by the darkness But my light has been reborn No, these shadows Won't haunt me anymore No, these shadows won't haunt me anymore. I did it. I beat my inner darkness. No, there wasn't a chance I was going to let the rage and despair control my life. I don't care who I am, son of Typhon or not, I'm not evil. 
and I never will be evil. I still don't know how Typhon managed to trap me in my own head like this, but I can't believe he underestimated me like this. He has no idea how powerful I've become. Or, I guess, maybe now he does. Either way, I need to get out of here. I don't even know where to go, though, and... Oh, God. Seeing my friends dead on the floor is such a terrible sight. I mean... Even knowing that they aren't real doesn't really help that much. It's just terrible. Typhon truly is pure evil. I mean, I can't believe that anyone or anything could possibly stoop that low to overtake my mind. It's not real. I know it's not real. It just it still hurts. Okay. How do I get out of here? I don't want to be here anymore. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I've never been trapped in a place that doesn't technically exist before. I mean, is there some sort of door? How does one exit their own mind. I would want to say the same way that you could enter your mind, but I'm not exactly too sure how I got here either, so I don't know. I mean, there has to be something. mysterious portal thing, are you my ticket out of here? <sighs> I don't want to do it, but there's only one way to find out. Alive? Or am I? 
No, this... This feels real, and... Yes, I'm back at camp. Oh, what in the world was that? Was it... A dream? No. It felt too real to be a dream. I don't know. That was so weird, though. I mean, whatever that thing was, my inner demon, it shouldn't be back anytime soon. I definitely showed him my true power, so he won't bother me anymore. At least I hope. I hate to use my full strength just to kill that damn thing. Whatever, though. It's done now. Ugh. I don't feel good. My stomach feels like it's in knots. I mean, it's probably just a side effect from all the mental and physical stress that I went through. But... Wow. It sure is nice to be in the real world again. Being in a place like that felt like I was back in Tartarus, and I never want to experience it again. I mean, look how green it is. And wow, the wind blowing through the leaves and the grass. It's beautiful. Um, Soren, are you home? Oh. Knock, knock. Hey. Hey. Okay. Uh, Soren, what happened to your face? Um, it's a long story. I got attacked by some giant beast. I don't beast? know why, but yeah, it came in, it scratched my face, and it blew up my cabin. Yeah, so, I was gonna ask about that as well. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, I didn't have the means to fix it myself, but I gathered the dirt that I could find and at least patched some of the holes so it didn't look as uh, bad. Yeah, of, of course. Um, I, I can have someone come and fix this for you, but uh, more about the beast. Why why did it attack you? Where did it come from? Um, I, I don't know. I wish I could give you more information, but... I don't really know much about it myself. All I know is that it was just some giant shadow monster and it uh -huh. came and blew up my cabin. It seemed like it really wanted to kill me, but luckily I got the upper hand and was able to defeat it before it could really, you know, hurt me. Well, I'm very glad that you're okay. Uh, yeah. I... Just... I actually came, um... I'm... I think I'm ready to go and find my dad, if you're willing to still go after what happened. Really? Uh, yeah, I ended up talking to the Oracle, I, I have the directions, I guess, or the information that I need right here, and... No way. I That's so out. awesome. Yeah, I'd love to go with you. That's so exciting. <laughs> Great. Um, If you don't mind, though, I... I feel like I should take a look at that scratch before we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe get you fixed up. It still looks like it's bleeding, and I wouldn't want it to get infected or anything. Yeah, I'd appreciate that a lot. And then uh, right. right after we can head out, I definitely think it's best that I get away from the camp for a while, just in case any other giant monsters decide to come yeah. looking for me, so... Yeah. yeah. Probably uh, for the best. Um, all right, let's head over to the infirmary, and then I guess we can be on our way. All right, sounds good.
Man, that had to be some nasty of a beast to leave a scratch like this. Yeah, it was huge and really powerful, but hopefully no more of those come to the camp. At least, if they're looking for me, they won't be here while I'm gone. Yeah. Well, if they come after us while we're gone, at least we'll be able to take it on together. Yeah, for sure. I've taken a beast or two in my day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, by the way, yeah. so much for doing this. Of Actually course. It feels almost nostalgic. This is just like how we first met. When I, I crashed I guess you're right. through that portal, <laughs> almost fell on right. you. Yeah, except it was your wing, and now it's your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's funny. We hardly knew each other back then, and now here we are about to go on a grand adventure. Yeah, yeah. it is pretty crazy how life works out like that. Yeah, it is. Speaking of the adventure, are you nervous? Are you excited? You're finally going to uh, meet your dad. <laughs> if I'm honest, I... I don't even know what to think just yet. I mean, I've been waiting for this day. Well, for a while, I guess. Growing up, I never really thought about my dad all that much. Since, you know, I was raised by my mom and... I thought the world of her until... Well, I found out she wasn't actually that great of a person. Um, but... Yeah, I'm sorry to hear after, that. No, it's... it's okay. But one thing she did give me was the knowledge of who my dad is, and that he's a demigod, and he's Asclepius, the son of Apollo, which is kind of ironic, given you don't know everything, but I have a bit of a past of descendants of Apollo. Oh, really? And, yeah. I didn't think very well of them, but it uh, turns out that I am one. So. Oh. Yeah. Again, weird how life turns out. <laughs> yeah. But I think it just goes to show I uh, can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> you never yeah. know um, who the person really is on the inside. Yeah, absolutely. Like you, for example. <laughs> Looking at you, you might not think that you're that Nice of a person, I guess. Thank given... you. Well, it's not meant to be like a, not a compliment, but like the horns, the wings, I, I get it too. You know, we're what people might say is monsters, but yeah. I think you're one of the kindest people that I've ever met. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'd say the same thing about you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anyone else who'd drop everything just to come and help me find my dad. Of course. I mean, this is something that's really important to you, and you know, yeah. we've grown pretty close, and I would say you're probably the closest person that I have at this camp, so <laughs> it's nice well, to have a friend, and I'd do anything to help you. I'm happy to be that person. <sighs> can't believe we're finally about to leave to meet my dad. Um, I suppose whenever you're ready, I think uh, that cut is about as good as it's going to get. Thank you again for doing that, Kay. I really appreciate it. Of course. All right. You ready to go? I think so. You, you sure you're up for it? Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Let's... let's go.
Alright, well, I guess we're here. Um, Kay, are you sure we're not lost? I feel like maybe we missed a turn somewhere or something. This uh, isn't the Earth Realm, like the Oracle said. No, it's not. Um, granted, that was just an assumption I made. Uh, the Oracle led us here. Why would the Oracle lead us to some giant cavern? I'm not totally sure, but my mom said um, she always said uh, to take the opportunity to go adventuring when it arises. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for so, sure. I mean, if this is where the directions lead, then... There must be something here, right? Yeah. Huh. Look, Kay. There's like hmm. a floating village over there. Do you oh. think maybe there's people living in it? Maybe. I mean, I always expected the Earth Realm, but maybe it's just another village of sorts. Yeah. Uh, Want to go check it out? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hello? Is anyone here? Looks like they're empty. Uh, maybe everyone's out currently? Whoa. Or not. <laughs> okay, look at all these... Skull? And so many cobwebs. It... Yeah. So I'm gonna take a solid guess here and assume no one lives here currently probably not i mean judging on the amount of dust and all the cobwebs and everything it doesn't look like anyone's lived here for years decades yeah. even uh-huh this this doesn't make any sense why would we be led here just to find an old dusty village as well as a cavern I don't oh, know. There has to be something. Yeah. Uh, look below. There's a whole bunch of ruins. Yeah. Maybe they could lead us to something. I mean, there has to be a specific reason that the Oracle sent us here. Yeah. The Oracle. Um. I don't know, Soren. I don't see a whole lot, if I'm being honest. No. There's a forest. There Somehow has... it's still lit. Yeah. Wait. Whoa. What is this? This is a statue of Chiron. Um. Chiron? Yeah, Chiron the centaur. Oh. He, he was that kind of... painting that we saw back at that building. Yeah, he kind of worked for Apollo and some of the other gods. He was the one who trained my father. Uh, maybe... Actually, I've read about this in the past. He lived in a place called Chiron's Cavern. I never knew its whereabouts or what it looked like, but I have a feeling that this was it. Whoa. It's crazy. I wonder if this is where my dad trained. <laughs> yeah. This must have been where he spent his youth, but... If he was sent to be amongst mortals, there's no way he'd be here. I mean, this is... A place in mythology. He wouldn't be allowed here. Yeah. I mean, you originally thought that your father was killed by the gods, right? Yeah, no, he, he was before he was re resurrected. They killed him because his powerful was, or his power was far too great. He could 
heal people, and he could even bring people back from the dead, so they wanted that sort of power gone. And Chiron here is actually who taught him everything that he knows. Or knew. Yeah, I guess that's pretty understandable. I mean, have you ever thought that maybe the gods didn't only want your father's power to be gone, but the ability to learn or create such power as well? I never thought about that. It... That was never written in any of the books. But I guess... The gods wouldn't want it out there that they murdered an entire village if... That's what happened. I hope not. Well... <laughs> It seemingly is so. I mean, no one's here. This place is desolate as all can be. Yeah. I can't believe we came all the way out here for nothing. I'm so sorry, Kay. It's okay. <sighs> well, I mean, there still be there still might be more to learn here. I mean, the Oracle must have sent us here for something. There can't just be nothing here, even if there's a possible slaughtered village. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with the Oracle is she can give prophecies, but she's not always correct. Um, <laughs> almost seems as if she had ulterior motives, but I don't know. If this is the place that my dad spent most of his youth, I guess it wouldn't be bad to explore it a bit, right? No. As long as you're willing. Yeah, of course. I mean, we came all this way. But we have to find something. I know we're going to find something. <laughs> all right. I, I guess let's look around then. Okay. pretty upset that we haven't found anything, but nonetheless, this has been fun. Thanks for coming with me and spending the day exploring. <laughs> of course. I mean, I still find it a little strange that the Oracle sent you here in the first place, but I mean, <sighs> it's all good. I, I wasn't exactly honest about that. Um, what do you mean? Well, I went to talk to the Oracle about, you know, the entire situation, and she gave me the answer that I typically get from her when I talk about my dad. She didn't know anything or 
couldn't tell me more than I already knew. But when I was talking to her, my mom showed up. Oh. And I'm not exactly sure how, because I didn't get the chance to ask, and granted, she probably wouldn't have told me anyway. Um, but the last time I saw my mom, she was... She was in the underworld. Oh. So, you can imagine my surprise when I saw her back, let alone at the camp. And I guess she took advantage of the fact that she knows how much finding my father meant to me. It's the conversation we had back when we were both in the underworld. And she used it. And I guess sent me on a quest for nothing. And I didn't want to tell you because I had to make a bit of a deal that I'm not exactly proud of. What deal did you make? Well, my mom's typically had an interest in the Oracle. And she wanted access to it. And it's against every moral that I currently have, but finding my dad meant the world to me, so giving the Eye of Delphine to her didn't seem like that big of an issue. You but gave it to her? Yeah. To be fair, I actually got it from her originally. She has the Oracle's best interest at heart. Not to say that whatever she's using the Oracle for is good, but... I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something as soon as we get back to camp. I, I can't let her keep the eye, especially once she sent me on a stupid quest with no end. Nothing to find. I mean... I totally understand, though. I mean, you wanted to find your dad. It's totally understandable. But I know, but it ruins everything that I stand for as a camp counselor. I, I should never have done it. It was selfish. It's okay, Kay. And, you know, whatever she's trying to plot or do, once we get back to camp, I can help you get it all figured out, okay? Really? Yeah, of course. Thanks. That means a lot to me. Of course. And while we're on the topic of not being completely honest with each other, I know I've told you a lot about my father, but mm -hmm. I feel like it's only fair that I tell you the full truth because I haven't been honest with you either. Really? No. Uh, well, what else is there? Um, you see, I never had any sort of memory issue when they got here. I knew exactly what I came for. Um... My okay. father actually sent me here on a mission, which I know I've touched on before with you, right. but yeah, I do actually know what the mission is. The only problem mm -hmm. was when I got here, I discovered how incredible Earth really was. And how awesome the people back at Camp Oasis are. <laughs> and I don't... That's understandable wasn't sure if I would be able to go through with it. Well, what was the mission anyway? What did he want you to do? Well, my father actually sent me to the Earth Realm to find some woman that has... Oh, Thorin! Uh, do you see that up ahead? Oh, um... Uh, yeah, what... What's this? I don't know. It just seems like a, another temple, but... This caught my eye. There's a serpent fang on the outside of it, and I don't know, some type of serpent symbol as well. 
Do you want to explore it really quickly, just uh, before we head back? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just got excited. It's it's all good. We definitely want don't want to leave any ruins un- yeah, unexplored here. Yeah, of course. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll find something. <laughs> I mean, even if we don't, it's still a fun day regardless. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get this out of the way. Um, oh, huh. It's so There's some dark type in of here. lever here. Hold on. This might turn a light on or something? Yeah. Let's try it. Soren, this, this is the staff of Asclepius. Guess this thing really works. Uh, maybe I have some of his healing power as a descendant. Uh, isn't this great? It's you. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? Soren, I don't understand. What's going on? How could I? (laughs) How could I be so stupid? Of course it was you. You're not stupid. And... What was me? I can't help you if I don't know what's going on. How did you do it? How did you hide it so well? Hide what, Soren? You're freaking me out here. How long have you been a serpent hiding in a human form? Am I in danger? Yes. Bythia, please elaborate. What is the cause of this danger and what can I do to be rid of it? There is nothing in our realm that can stop. What has been prophesized. <sighs> However, there may be a way to buy you some time. Okay. What can I do? Your serpent appearance is what currently puts you most at risk. There will come a time when even that won't matter. But for now, a more human form is what you seek. 
Months ago, the Oracle gave me a warning. It was prophesied that my end was near and the only way to buy myself more time was to disguise myself from whatever or whomever was haunting me. Soren, what was the mission that your dad sent you on? I do have a special mission that someone with your appearance would benefit greatly. I can do it. What do you mean by my appearance? This mission will require you to travel to the Earth Realm. There is someone I am seeking. Earth Realm? The creatures in Earth Realm have a much different appearance than us down in Tartarus. More human. Of course. That's why I would be so perfect for this mission. You can count on me, Father. I promise. Fail me, and you will wish you could spend the rest of your useless life in the pit. I... I won't fail you. So... Who exactly am I looking for? I think you know what my mission is. Whoa. Easy now. I think I have a good idea what your mission is now, but what I'm trying to understand is why. I don't know Typhon or you. Are you working for someone else? I... In all the stories, it's usually just Delphine and the Oracle. I don't know what this guy is doing here, and oh. he's kind of scary, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, um... Wait. No. Mom, how are you? Pleasure to see you again, too, my dear. I have a surprise for you. I overheard you're wanting to find information about your daddy. I mean, yeah, but you've always been reluctant to talk about him in the past. Why now, or should I ask? What do you want in return? Oh, I'm offended at how well you know me. <laughs> if you had to, I'm sure you could probably guess what I'm after, too. The Oracle, of course. Such a smart one you are, yes. All I would like in return is my own property. What information do you have? You'll have to go find that out for yourself. Oh, but do take that nice friend of yours. It sure is a dangerous quest. And you know what? We can talk about the Oracle once you're back at camp. What do you say, dear? Do we have a deal? No. Soren, my mom- <gasps> Whoa! Hey!
It's sad, really. We were just becoming great friends. It's a shame. I actually grew quite fond of you. Too bad I have to kill you, though. It doesn't have to be like that, Soren. We are great friends, even if you're not acting like it right now. And seriously, you're not the first thing I've fought with the Spear and Flames. Back down now, I, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> oh, you aren't going to hurt me, Kay. Maybe it is time to try something new, though. not going to stop what's been prophesized. Soren, I... this was over. <laughs> I can't believe you stabbed me. realize, but I'm the son of Typhon, the most powerful titan, the dictator of Tartarus. I'm powerful. I don't know if you realize, but I just died. For the second time, and yet... Here I am. Introducing the daughter of Asclepius. The new demigoddess of healing. think it'd be more fair of a fight. Sword and spear. No powers.
no, it's not too late to put an end to this. I've told you before, you don't have to listen to your father. I wish I could just stop it all, Kay. Believe me, but I can't. Typhon is one of the most powerful beings to exist. I have to do this. Came to pave my own path But now there's no looking back I gotta do what I gotta do I gotta see this mission through Am I a friend or a foe? Even I just don't know Don't know what I'm supposed to do I gotta see this mission through No, I don't want to become a failure To the ones that love Just wanna be a gentle soul Someone can say they're proud of So I gotta prove my worth Even though I know it'll hurt I have no more time to divert You say you wanna be strong Well it takes more guts to be right than to be wrong No I don't wanna fight you No I don't wanna argue No more No more Wish you could see what I see And you see the truth You're a friend So much to prove to you So I won't fail you now Only got yourself to prove So please don't fail me now Now don't become A failure to the ones I love Just wanna be a gentle soul Someone can say they're proud of so I gotta, Don't gotta prove my worth You know I know it'll hurt I have no more no time to divert divert Soren, don't. Do it. Look, I know what you're going through. You just want to please your father. She's lying. She doesn't know who you are. I've been in your shoes. Trying to please your parents? It's not worth it. Look where it got me. What does she know about you, your parents, or the hell from which you came? I can help you. We can go back to camp and things can go back to the way that they were. You think you'll be accepted in some camp? They'll treat you like you're different. Like this you're a monster. This isn't you, Soren. You're not a monster. She's been lying to you this whole time. I'm sorry for not what telling you the truth. What trustworthy you, now? Uh, I was worried about the world. I was worried about the world. The whole thing goes through. The whole thing goes through. But it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. Don't have to prove anything to your father. No. Soren. 
can't do it. I can't kill you, Kay. you. You're the closest thing to a family that I have. Listen, I... I'm so sorry. For everything. Me too. Well, here we are. Kay, I just wanted to apologize again. I mean, I know that nothing I say will ever be able to take back what I did, but I don't know. I feel awful. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of an awkward situation considering it, you killed me um but for what it's worth i forgive you and you know that no matter what i'm always here to support you i mean you've been through a lot more than a lot of the people i know or me for the matter so yeah I, it's not like it's to be expected but I forgive you. I'm here for you, and you know you always you always have a place here. I really appreciate that. I know I just I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I promise I'll make it up to you somehow. I I don't know how, but I don't know. Don't worry about it. Um If I'm being honest though, I do think I'm at least going to need some time just to figure things out and honestly the past couple of months have been so crazy with the shadow figure and just everything I just want to kind of lay low for a bit relax just I guess to my job as a camp counselor and not worry about much else yeah um, um... Absolutely. Uh, and I feel like you need some time to figure yourself out, too. Definitely after everything. Yeah, for sure. Oh. So, um, do you, do you plan to stay? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be staying for a while. I mean, I don't really have anywhere else to go, so. Okay. Um, like I said, of, of course you're welcome. Um, but for now, I mean, besides uh, seeing you around camp and everything, I I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, okay. Kay. Bye, Soren.
You really messed up big time, Soren. There's no coming back from this. Kay may say she forgives me or whatever, but how could I even let her do that? I tried to kill her. I mean, I... I did kill her. If it wasn't for that staff, my best friend would be gone. By my own hands. <sighs> Everything that they say about me is true. I'm nothing but a monster. A horrible demon that can't be here. <sighs> but how do I say goodbye? I know it's only been a couple of months, but this place, no matter how weird and broken down and empty, it's truly become more of a home to me than I've ever had my entire life. How can I just walk away from that? No, 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 no. No, Soren, no. You need to go. You aren't going to be wanted here. The moment that Mario or Xylo even finds out that I killed Kay, I should honestly just let them end me. No matter how harsh, I know that the punishment they have will always be less severe than whatever my father has planned for me back home. I'm so sorry, everyone, for everything. All I did by coming here was cause chaos and destruction. There's a reason I was created in Tartarus, and there's a reason things aren't supposed to escape. I belong in Tartarus. I never should have come here. Goodbye, grass. <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful blue open skies. <sighs> Goodbye, Camp Oasis. Soren, you can't run from this forever. Just accept your fate. returned. A failure. Nothing more than I expected you to be. No. I'm... I'm not. I may be a failure in your eyes, but I spared someone who didn't deserve to die. She's a good person. She's my friend. You disgust me. But... It was brave coming back here on your own accord. Otherwise, I would have never stopped hunting you down. I can't let someone as weak as you continue my legacy. No. I mean, how could I? I'll never be as good as my stepbrother. Right? I can't believe you. You stupid human. Come forth. Now. Accept your death quietly. I don't want to hear another word come from your mouth. 
I hate you. Your journey is not over yet, my son, for there is still much to come. <laughs> 